Guys, welcome to the Binge Eater Podcast. Holding it down right now with my baby cousin, Big Lynch. We got Donnie Duckett. And we got a guest this week, General Sam, my man. Uh, yeah, you know, you actually prompted this because uh, you are uh, you came up to me. You are like, what's up, man? You need a guest on the podcast? Because I yep. mentioned it earlier. And, and now we have our first guest. No, I wasn't even like begging. I think you were just kind of like, yo, I was super. Uh, the podcast I uh, I had done with you was uh, I just felt like it was a super high, obnoxiously stoned podcast uh, <laughs> yeah, in a good way, it. though. I didn't a- tell you actually the full scoop was um, me and my wife. We don't like fight like physically uh, and we don't fight verbally either. We're really non-confrontational people. We ain't got no communication skills. So we were just kind of like having one of those afternoons where we were uh, cohabitating the same space with a lot of negative energy. And uh, we were kind of just pissed at each other. And then um, nine o'clock rolls around and we put the kids to bed and I come downstairs and then Poob calls me and goes, hey, we got that podcast. Get on. And I go, oh, that's tonight. And I had already smoked a lot, you know, to calm down. <laughs> and so I was just like pissed off in a bad mood. And and then we had the podcast. So and like, you got Fuck. the bacon guy from 2014. Yeah. Like, hello, how yeah. many toys do you have? <laughs> And then you joined in and I was just like not in a talkative mood. And I was like, dude, honestly, that it was such an embarrassing moment for me and such a horrible moment for me that we did not have a guest after you for six months. (laughs) No, serious. You know what makes me feel good about that? What? Is uh, there wasn't an ounce of me or uh, anything of me that thought that went badly. Or anything at all. Yeah, it's but I had heard laid back, and you don't have anxiety problems. I woke well, up next no, day, but I, I like, do. Oh, I think that. I do think that. And really? now I get this outside perspective. I'm like, oh, thank God, it's as ridiculous as I assumed. It was nothing. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would have been willing to bet that Harley got off that and didn't think for one second. It was like, oh, that didn't go well. Yeah, you're more. Well, you could be more like General Sam. Actually, <clears throat> Lynch sometimes will type out an email and not hit send, and he'll sleep on it. Uh, oh yeah, and then actually like read it though. again. That's yeah, that's I'll, a smart move. Yeah, I'll but hit, between, I'll hit send right away, uh, and then I'll take like a scary shower and be like, <laughs> "What the fuck?" See, I when the time like Lynch types out the email and then goes to sleep on it, I'll send out like a a four thirty a.m. Like, sure. And Lynch <laughs> yeah. be like, "Why are you sending out emails at four thirty a.m.? Like, why not time you, it so it doesn't look like your crackhead hours up at four thirty a.m." emailing back like that's shirt. our ceo life i send i send one word texts with no punctuation uh, to people. <laughs> only xos yeah uh sam you're from tallahassee florida yeah it's the capital of florida yeah it is yeah <laughs> up you, here uh, with uh desantis me and him ruling the roost do you do you identify big time as like a like a florida guy no i don't like it here at all no i love no. it there why don't you like it Oh, are you, are you kidding me? It's uh, well, first of all, I was born and raised here, and yeah, then I feel uh, trapped. So, yeah, like being feel, born and raised in Disneyland. Like I like Disneyland, but I don't know if I want to be there all the time like that. Well, see, the problem is this is also quite a distance away from Disneyland or any of the things that people think of when they they think of Florida. I ain't got <laughs> well, Disney World. Right here. Disney World have, is Florida. Yeah, Disney World. Is that annoying that I made that correction? I'm annoyed with me. I'm not that type of guy, by the way. <laughs> Disney World. Anyway, but sorry. I, you're I don't have like a. I don't care. You don't. You don't. You don't collect, you don't collect <laughs> don't the pins. Shit. You don't. You don't collect no. the pins and go there every week. <laughs> I. Uh, I'm not a. I'm not near any of the cool stuff in Florida. I'm just here because of family. Yeah. Well, what's your favorite fast food spot? Got to be some lit fast food in Tallahassee, dude. Whataburger's dope, but uh, Hurricane took out our Whataburger for a while. That was pretty traumatic. But uh, dude, honestly, have you guys ever had Shake Shack? That's not a thing around here, but Shake Shack <laughs> rocks. That's number one. Yeah. That's number one for, I think it should be for everybody. Yeah, Shake Shack. We're big fans of Shake Shack for yeah, sure. Shake Shack. I just had it in the Dallas airport and it was, it was okay. Airport doesn't really count. I, yeah, no, I'll be no, honest with you. The craziest thing is like, I, <laughs> I do like the new shit And for a, a while there, I was Shake Shack. Truth be told, like at, at the end of the day, I do think Shake Shack is S tier and it's at the top. I, I also, I think I'm going to put Five Guys there also. And Five Guys fell off for me for a while just because it was no longer a novelty. But I do think you get a hot burger, you get so many fries, and I'm not saying it's better than Too Shake Shack, fries. but it's it's an option. I it's not it's, even f-ing close. It's not even in the same category. Well, how come, right, how come all, you hate the Five Guys so hard? Dude, Five Guys, they give you a pound and a half of the worst goddamn French fries I have ever had in my life. <laughs> you don't and get they them, told them style? They towed them with such like... 
you walk in and you have to walk around the giant sacks of Idaho potatoes. Yeah. As yeah. if they're so proud Stepping of them. On peanut and shells. they undercook <laughs> them. And then they put them in this big sack and it's just dripping grease. They suck. I, I can't stand them. They, you don't like how you have to fish your burgers out from under the fries. You have to reach no, into the They're giving them away fries. because nobody wants to buy them. They suck so bad. Those, those yeah. fries suck. But like, the burgers you, are good. You That's value the fry key. experience that much for your burger. When you go to burger, like the, you really rate the fries on equal I, 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 burger, I rate the fries independently when I'm paying like eight dollars for fries Fair. or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, at five guys. Yeah, five guys. It's true. You, yeah. you, the, you, you don't. There's no trio there. There's no combo. Yeah, you get you, the fries. Everything's a, whole, a la carte. Yeah, it's a whole <laughs> other item. Yeah, you yeah. get the. You have to get a little burger for one patty even. Yeah. Um. I love that era from like uh, uh 2005 to like uh basically the pandemic where that was like the thing was to make like a smash burger place. And yeah. all these burger places popped up, and then I got to watch them all f- tumble down and yeah. fall down because some of them couldn't hack it. You know, how many, how many burger Jack, places Jake does Jack's one a place good need? Smash burger. That's like, uh, like we, I, I love the cheese fries there too. I love their shakes are amazing. Uh, have you ever had the chicken burger at Shake Shack? No, nah, I'm a Chick Fil A boy. Chicken. Okay, burger. I love Chick Fil A also. I'm going in on Chick Fil A. If I'm feeling really like fat, <laughs> I'll get the I'll get the chicken burger with the cheeseburger. Um, and it just it's a choice. Like if I don't want the cheese fries that day, maybe I'll get the chicken burger instead. I'm just saying, don't sleep on the Shake Shack chicken burger. It's great, but this is coming from a guy who also likes Five Guys. So take that. So as I've been eating the Chick Fil A, <laughs> and my biggest beef with Chick Fil A is it, it's it's nothing to do with the food. It's the their stu- thoughts on gays. No, I wasn't gonna go there, but they're, okay. they're shallow. They're shallow sauces. They give you this shallow sauce. The bigger I'm at it. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, it's very this shallow. Giant waffle fry, and then it doinks like it, yeah, just it's a like, little bottom. Yeah. yeah, it's like a little like it's it's like come on now. Like, I have some bite. It's like potato asses on the on uh, yeah waffle yeah, fries. That's whatever right. the fuck that is. They're they like couldn't pluck that out. They're trying to legitimize it. They're like, oh, this is real. We're not. This is not. This, this is a real potato. So a, I'm gonna give we, you a section that you're not gonna eat. Yeah, we waffled the whole thing, but look, this is the end. You know, this. Wait, we don't fuck with those. You guys don't fuck with the knobbies. Nah, bro. What is with you? What nah. is- <laughs> You're I, back tonight, baby. You're uh, I thought a guy that made awesome dude food would have a better taste in. I stand. In I stand. I actually stand by everything I'm saying, and I've I've just automatically thought of you as wrong, and I wasn't really pressing it because <laughs> the guest. I'm like, that's what he thinks. Yeah, uh, but no, I do. I think Five Guys. I, do you, have you ever had In and Out? Oh, in and out, yeah, in and out's good, okay. but I think in and out kind of no. had its heyday. Yeah, you're good. Okay, that's just like I was. That was a feeler. I was feeling you out there. Now you're right on that one. Okay, so maybe you're not a lost cause, it was a, and maybe we align more than you actually think. You know, it, it like uh, I've heard so much hype about in and out, and I think it was kind of like um, kind of like KFC in the '90s, maybe. Yeah, in and out know, like 20 KFC, years ago. It was a, yeah, like KFC hasn't made a good meal in forever. Mm-hmm. But I case. do. I sometimes I've found myself at KFC getting like a, I don't know what they call it there in in, in Quebec. That's the diabolical zinger, really fire fire sandwich. Do you know you guys <laughs> up in Canada? You guys got fries at KFC before the U.S. got fries. Yeah, yeah. we had fries. Well, we're at, serious uh, about our poutine, so you know fries you gotta at, get fries at Taco Bell here. also. What the fuck? But if you like that battery fry, the KFC fry is actually low key really good. It's crunchy, it's salty. What? I thought and it's... the KFC fries were the soggiest bad boys in the world. Yeah. Aren't they the like KFC battered fries and crispy? Were like, no. They were just these big potato wedges growing up. Oh no, for us it's like really skin. It's like uh, like a McDonald's fry that was just soaked in water, and uh, and you have to like you have to like a, like a gelatinous brown KFC gravy to like the fries. Which yeah. there was like a three year period of my life where I liked that gunk. Now it makes me sick. I flick it. If you flick it, it jiggles like how my belly used to jiggle during the pandemic. Dude, you've lost a lot of weight, man. I'm yeah, telling you. I got you're... some weird skin though, man. Really? Yeah. No, nothing yeah. hanging or whatever, but like I still got that brown gravy KFC skin in some parts. You know, oh, yeah. Jiggle a little bit. You should yeah. do the Homer Simpson and like bag clip your back skin. So it <laughs> you have your fucking nipples in your armpits, but it would look cool. I would look into that procedure fully. Actually, it'd make a, it'd make a sick video. Yeah. That have would. you ever vlogged? No. I, well, actually, yeah. Like way back in the day, back when Casey Neistat was like rocking. I back when like, he was an inspiration to you. Yeah. I was like, I need to, I need to do that. Yeah. Besides, I had no what kind of YouTuber would yet. you uh, would you would you consider yourself as? Um, I really try. Sorry, are you a YouTuber? Yeah, is that I, someone's I like, the, like? What do you do if someone's like your wife meets? Someone, I'm an editor. You'll say you're an editor. 
I well, that's what my job <laughs> primarily is. I'm not good at any of the other stuff. I'm not good at like the titles. I'm not good at like the <laughs> getting like this is what to some people have an idea for a video and they go, this is going to be big, like a Mr. Beast moment where they're like, I can see the millions of views already. I just like the edit, and then and then yeah, I go to put it up on YouTube. I'm like, I, I don't know what to call this thing. <laughs> poo 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 shit, whatever. Boom, and I hit play. Poo poo shit's a hype title. I think you actually knocked it out of the park with that one. <laughs> you would think that, and then you name you name something that, and it fucking sinks. Wait, you know, <laughs> yeah, sinks. and you can only blame yourself. Yeah, you're, you're I, got, like, I thought it was funny. Nobody else. Thought Speaking it was funny. of the uh, the before times, like poo poo pee pee shit was a title that could have actually been on youtube that's like you early had h3 humor you could yeah. have had a poo poo pee pee shit as a title uh and you can't now that's true and yeah, it's, yeah. It, it's actually true that like there there are some things like you know that that actually bothers me yeah <laughs> well, no, I feel shit, and now for... it's like it's going to be demonetized it's going to be suppressed i feel bad for the people that do like historical videos and like deep dives because sometimes you're talking about like you know, I don't know, like a, the, the sack of Carthage or something. And like just in the title and stuff like there is inherently violent stuff being said because it's historical act of war. Yeah. But it's like they have to tiptoe how they even label it and how they describe it in the description. Because same with uh, YouTube sorry. looks at it and goes, oh, this yeah, is like this depiction depiction of weapons. the same, the same yeah. with, uh, you know, uh, drugs, educational conversation about drugs, something useful uh, or educational conversation about firearms. They get yeah. flagged and, uh, you know, and that's a touchy subject, but poo poo pee pee shit really isn't. And that's what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about the ones that just aren't even touchy subjects or aren't even like, <laughs> it's not even a triggering thing. Poo -poo -pee -pee no, they shit, think you're underage. They think you're underage. You're like poo poo pee pee shit. They're like some kids trying to post a video of himself. I'm, sure, I'm, trying, I'm, trying, to ass, General <laughs> I'm trying to picture the thumbnail right now. Uh, or, or, like, that is, of course, like some just baked image of a like me, probably stretched and just pixelated yeah. and everything. That's that era of humor for sure. <laughs> you're so, you uh you you on Forehead Fables podcast. Your podcast. You're there with. Uh, Guys that you met online? All online, baby. I don't know a soul in my my city. Yeah. <laughs> Do you not have any Tallahassee homeboys? Um, I got some no. <laughs> no. I, I no, you no, did no, even no. the ones that you did, they're fucking wild, eh? Yeah, no, I got uh I got my family. That's about it. I got my brother. That's about it. Everybody else is like, I met these guys on on Xbox days. So you're not you don't have any you're not friends with any real Tallahassee pipe hitting meth heads <laughs> uh, i got some i got some acquaintances in town but like no nobody that i'm just like hey come on over yeah uh so skyrim or oblivion by the way <laughs> <laughs> that's your transition that's your conversational transition. i don't know if you're allowed to say transition by the way uh in this fucking podcast we are <laughs> <laughs> no we're transitioning now <laughs> that's a really I, hard choice though seriously i don't even know if i could choose one what skyrim or oblivion yeah it's oblivion for sure, but yeah. more oblivion importantly, too. which one of us do you think would make a better woman if we did transition? Uh, I mean, I don't want to annoy the audience and say Donnie. It's Donnie. Uh, I <laughs> well, Donnie in the I'm bottom right? Like, I'm just thinking, like, who could I handle the easiest? That's weird, too. I don't want to say what that. What do you mean that, handle? Yeah, that's, what are you I mean, to say? Like, <laughs> who could I, like, like, like it just uh, dominate consensually in a oh, sensual... Oh, fuck them. I just mean, like, uh, you know, like a... Uh, oh, well, what do you mean transition woman? the best? Like, who do I think would make the best wife? You. Who do you if no, that's what it is. I didn't know it was me? we were, we're going to marry. I yeah, I want that. Motherly instinct. Yeah, but I want that dual citizenship. I think I want to oh, live yeah. in Tallahassee. We could raise the kids there. No, uh, no you already, uh, state income tax. You know how to be a dad. Yep. You a good dad? Uh, No, I'm horrific. No, eh? <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm, a I'm a good dad, I think. I you hope. set aside dad time, actually, when we were talking about this. You were like, every single day, yeah, this is every, I got dad yeah. time. No, the only psychopaths don't see their kids every day. Come on. Yeah, that, actually, yeah. a big respect when he, when he was talking, when we were talking like, oh, availability, stuff like that. He's like, well, I got this time set aside for my children. And I'm like, these guys on the podcast just want to understand how how big this is oh, they, they, don't don't understand. they don't get they it they don't even understand these, the concept these, these, of these it it's just so far above us yeah, donnie actually i know i came equipped with some uh could you put me and donnie up top and then you guys <laughs> that's how it is for me 
Oh, it is? Okay. Wait, no. Yeah. Lynch is the one that has kids. Donnie. Oh, I'm the sorry. One. No, Donnie, get your ass down there. Lynch, <laughs> I, was, I, I was like, I don't know why I'm coming up, but I'll come up with <laughs> no, it. No, I, in my head, I was like, there's no shot, Donnie. I saw that little rat dog you have that doesn't count as a kid, all right? You get down there. <laughs> <laughs> the kid, uh, fathers. We That's my dog. Kids. Yeah, those are Harley's <laughs> dogs. My dogs. But, but I am team. House. I also am team fuck the kids, so let me explain it. No, I'm wow. kidding. Um, so here's the thing. No, some people are, and I totally get it. He's no, just I actually, the Discord. <laughs> your Discord, Sam. Mm -hmm. No, I'm kidding. I, uh, I, I listen. I do. You know, one day I'll have kids. Sure. Uh, I don't believe in rushing it. And in fact, we're, I'm going through the second wave. I'm, I'm in my age, uh, that time in my life where I'm going through the second wave of divorces now. They're uh, occurring. Yeah. There was the first round. Now the second one. And I'm not like, oh, good. But I am validated in 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 the thought that I want to just choose correctly and I want to do it at the right time. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, being like, oh, I got to have kids is one of those things that, you know, uh, Lynch but does. Will there time. ever be it's a kind right of just goes out. Though? I'm like, oh, I know. Let's be real. I though. know there's, it's, there's never really like a right time. Ultimately, that's like that's like the Hollywood thing. What happens when I was in Hollywood is like there would be like a 50 year old guy dating like a 25 year old. He's like, yeah, we're going to have kids. And his friends are like, shit, are you ready? And I'm there, I'm like, this dude's 50. Yeah, he's fucking ready. He's been ready yeah. for 25 he's, years. He's ready to die. I just mean like right now in life, I'm like kind of like, uh, I think I'm going to have another fat arc and then do <laughs> boxing. Maybe I want to be a postman. And I kind of like just having that, just being able to do that. Um, so the problem yeah. is you're getting up in age to the point where uh, if you do have a kid, you better have it with somebody substantially younger than you. Or else you're gonna have like a Down syndrome kid or something. No, I'm gonna have a kid. I'm gonna have a kid with an old, an old person, old lady, or her of last course. egg. No, her it's last gonna be fucking defective egg. You're gonna have some kid with like backwards knees or something. Dude. Do I? Should I not? No. Should I not be smoking hash that the week that I'm like uh, uh, pumping out? Like, what do you guys like? You know what? People don't talk about this enough. I want tips like week of. Did you guys like go on? Were you guys like best? things to eat for your come to make smartest baby reddit on google did you type See, that me shit? And my wife this kid ain't gonna be splitting the atom dude this kid's uh. just like bare minimum <laughs> through life like this YouTuber. is i knew the genetic stock this kid was coming from there, there was no reason to crank up the mozart and play it to the belly <laughs> and all that shit it was just but is that my like, fucking time here wait, did you hear people do that about is that a maneuver that. Yeah, like people, people. That, eh? no, you I, def I definitely didn't do that. But people you played, played like music. Tupac, eh? And you yeah. played like the lost. Yeah. Played, hit him up. That's all my haters out there. Hit him yeah. up. <laughs> yeah. out, of all the, uh, out of all the uplifting Tupac you could play for your child, hit him uh, up. Is I played probably the, I played, the track. Yeah. I played all eyes on me. You know. But did you read back. any of that, Lynch? You guys like? Did you? You think, know what? Uh, I, it, I read all of it, but I'm, I was just too lazy. Like I wasn't gonna go buy. Like someone actually bought us this this sort of music playing scenario, and I was like, "This is oh, it's a device that someone sells." Yeah, you put up to a belly, like up to your wife's belly when the kids in the it's world. like special speakers that you kind of like stick on your. I'm like, we didn't do anything special. I'm like, our kids. I mean, she's killing it right now. So you know, she's well, got, like, imagine 50 like words. Not I don't even, know, man. <laughs> you're not even a person yet, and like someone else has the ox to your entire <laughs> existence it, and it's universe. Up it is fucked up, it. and you play like Mozart. Well, like what you said or anything you play anything yeah. what's the move but you know there's people doing flow rider and shit. i said pit no the, the, move, is very close. the move is the move is to get your kid to play like piano as they're like get them into an instrument there's definitely like a lot of steps that people tell you you should be taking but once you're like in it it's kind of that's Bro, just copying what asian parents do by the way yeah, yeah. that's not like that's the right that's just you're that's yeah they're, they're, not, every, they're, they're not like the poster boys for good parents like no, i don't no. think i should be <laughs> yeah no but think, but like, they are for smart awesome children parents yeah but <laughs> they're smart kids that are smart socially kids. fucked up Not, and their yeah. parents are beating them with rulers and shit no nah, yeah i kind of want there's a there's a healthy middle ground where i don't force my kid to learn piano <laughs> yeah no and, uh, i just uh i just i have uh you don't schedule every part of their day to be uh work the time. chinese people i know they they get like you, you pick up an instrument or you do something like that early and definitely don't force it but i think it's good to do that try and find like what your kid is good at maybe yeah you know and i think and you need to combat that. train them for the water wars like we all know that's coming lynch Dude, I know I your can, daughter is gonna fly a helicopter about, what have I've you been, been thinking, thinking about? about like water shortages by the way and like where to move and stuff 
That's it's like, like I bought uh, Canada for those... that reason. We got we got a lot of natural resources out yeah. in Canada. I was looking at Canada. Too. It's a good spot. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of water up there. There's not a lot yeah. of people. Just a little, just a little cold. That's all. You know. Yeah, a little cold for but... now, but it's warming every year. You guys got trees. We got come visit. Things. You should come Dude, visit Canada. I need to get a passport, and then uh, yeah, I want to. Well, I was gonna. I want not having a passport is so. You're dumb. That's, that's, Florida. That's, I know, right? Uh, I, was, I, I, I agree. Yeah. Passport, and I was like, let me dust it off. And I looked at it; it's from like 2005. I was like, okay, this so is a little bit. We, so you you never leave the country. I do you leave gone, the state. Uh, yeah, I leave the state. Yeah. Where do you go? Um, I just went to go see the redwoods up in California. Oh, for that's fun! Anniversary nice. thing. That's and great. And I've been all over the Appalachians. So you're a good dad. You're a good husband. That's crazy. Oh. And everyone, yeah. everyone, nobody's here weren't. to contest. So yeah, like, <laughs> I'm yeah. basically Call his like wife. the best see, dad. Yeah. I'm the best fucking his husband. wife and his kids are in a my cage penis in the is other room. huge. <laughs> I'm like a giver in bed. I'm awesome. <laughs> Uh, Are everybody you loves me in town. No, not at all. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm very much a selfish lover. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was, I thought that's what you were saying. Um, they, yeah, that's a dude thing. I think selfish lover podcast is what we were almost going to call this. Actually, really, <laughs> I had a couple of questions that I wrote down about about things to ask you. Oh, you actually oh. have like interview shit. No, well. What it was Shit oblivion up. or Skyrim? Well, since, since you brought up dick size, yeah, we wanted oh. to know the number. <laughs> Obli <laughs> oblivion or Skyrim? Oblivion, you say? Uh, yeah, yeah obli oblivion is the, that's the one that has the most like childhood, um, like uh, when I think yeah. of a badass. I Bethesda like the gates game, opening like up. Game. That's what I always exactly. like. I like the random chaotic aspect of a, a, a gate to oblivion opening up and people coming out and you fight them. I like how shitty it was. I think like even when it came out, everybody was like, these characters look like they're marionette dolls. There's obviously like four voice actors. Yeah. It's just kind of like a funny game. It, even in its prime, it was just funny. I can't and believe Skyrim I, I kind of got rid it. of the funniness. I bought into all of like Oblivion came out and I like I believed it. Like I was yeah. scared. I scared when I spoke to Khajiit characters. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, they they get <laughs> fucking like when they start talking to you, they get like in your face. It's yeah, they into get their face. So like, fucking what are close. you buying? Yeah. <laughs> what are you selling? Yeah. The, uh, what's your favorite town in Oblivion? This this is what separates the boys from the men. All right. Where was your home set up? Can I say the Coliseum? No, my favorite thing was the mages, the mages tower, mages, mages tower. Yeah, the DLC thing because you can make your own spells there. Oh yeah, they had the little went, botanical garden. Yeah, and you could yeah. make a spell. So I was a vampire, so I had this spell that recharged my health so that the sun didn't hurt me, and it made me super charming. So everyone would talk to me, even though they're scared when you're a vampire. <laughs> and it was like, ass. and I kind of like whenever I cast, I was able to like run really fast and jump really. It basically was a one and all spell. And I had another one that like uh, summoned all uh, those golems that you can summon. But, Do yeah. you remember that that uh, controller hack where you could like hit a button and drop something at the same time and it would duplicate it? Yeah, yeah. You, I, I remember you I did that in in three Xbox 360. Like I almost crashed it. It was going at like two frames a second. I was about to say I had a church that I made so many goddamn cheese wheels in that. <laughs> It was just off limits. It was game over. Like if I oh, if I went back in there, the game crashed, and they were. I was like, I can't. I'm I'm late Can't load dude. the cheese. The yeah, I've already pimped out my my skin grad house. I can't fucking give up now. It's so late in the game, and uh, and the save like I had saved. Just I didn't do periodic saving. I just kept saving over the same one yeah. over and over again. Oh, I nice. made that mistake once in my life. Yeah, that damn church was <laughs> off limits. But. Well, what's your favorite Fallout? Probably three. Yeah. I'd, yeah, I would say probably Fallout 3. Yeah. Fallout 3 Although, have you ever one. played Fallout 4 in VR? I never played it in VR. I should. I played a lot of Fallout 4, though. I played a lot of Fallout. I've actually played every Fallout for like 25 hours and never beat a single Fallout. Yeah, really? So I always get yeah. distracted and just fucking. That's the beauty of those games. Yeah. 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 I, I never finish them. Uh, yeah. Fallout 3, probably the closest. Um. By the way, hold on a second. I do want to go back to that whole like you having kids thing because you do need to you need to realize the ramifications of what you're saying. When you said that there's like an actor that's like 50 and he's he's like fucking some 25 year old girl and he knocks her up. You do realize if you have a kid at 50. Aren't you kind of doing that kid a disservice by basically dying by the time they graduate high school? Like You're not like you're not there for their life. 
I've been trying I to tell like them. Yeah, died, I feel like if I died at 66, I feel like I just fucked up. <laughs> I mean, like, I, like, <laughs> like the average age, and I think, uh, well, never mind. I, I'm I, in a I, bad I, part of the country, so it's like mid-60s, 70s. I feel like you're shortchanging yourself. That It's almost sadder <laughs> for for you that like you have your kid and you're not going to be able to spend that much time with you it. You can't say that. I buddy. don't think that's the I don't think that's the way it works because you're dead. Uh, yeah, yeah. When <laughs> right. I'm dead. you're not like you're dead, right? You're exactly. Gonna you're not going to be the result of that. We for can't, the next, you know. right? But you're going to have gotta, to like pending guilt. I actually Donnie, think I think we shouldn't have any kids when we were like 20 years old. That's what I believe. Like I should, but then have kids yeah. even younger, not at 50. It sucks though, because then you're like not financially ready. Yeah, yeah, honestly, should. my grandpa told me something. He's like, if you wait till you're financially ready to have kids, you will never have fucking kids I ever. Agree. Yeah, yeah. That's my plan. Yeah. I'm not. Not that I'm. I want to be financially ready. This is my lot. You want to be Pacino? Well, you want to be Pacino, like in De Niro, at eighty years old, having popping out kids uh, randomly. Yeah, what kind of insane the penis s- drugs are they on? Insane. These cocks are that insane. that old, uh, dude. And that Hollywood seed, shit, sure. you know, that Next seed level. was fucking not swimming right. Watery. <laughs> you say watery? I thought it was like a curd. Curd. <laughs> <laughs> It was like a cum, a cum cube, like one, one, one cube, <laughs> and like one little, yeah, one little it's... moist droplet comes out. But it's wow. got corners on. <laughs> wow, yeah, yeah. No. I, I'm, I'm, with, uh, I'm glad you're here to to back me up because I'm always outnumbered in this. Well, listen, I've had, I've had it many times together. Yeah. I was joking when I said uh, team fuck the kids, but I'm saying like uh, like l- later for me the biggest thing is. It's not to be financially ready. It's just what I prioritize and what I care about. Smoking Timing wise, it doesn't oh, no, no, no. line up with another Dude, person. I totally get that. I get that. Absolutely. There was actually, I saw like a, um, uh, what are those things called? A poll or whatever where in Germany where, you know, those are, those are practical people. They'll speak their mind. They're not beating around the bush. And they asked all the parents there. They're like, hey, uh, do, do you guys regret having kids? And uh, do you love your children? And all of them, like 98% of them were like, I love my kids. I absolutely love them. But I regret having them. They kind of suck. Like sometimes like <laughs> there's it's... a lot of them that say that. And there, a lot of people go into it and think it's a very American thing to do is to, is to just like the kids are first and foremost my priority and like kid first and fuck the relationship of these two people. But like it's all about the kid and, and a lot of and everybody acts like there's no downside to it. That's Bro. something there's right. definitely downside to it. And you're fucking stupid if you act like there isn't. Uh, yeah. But you have to acknowledge that. And they acknowledge that the pluses that they bring into your life outweigh the negatives tenfold. That I, I, miss- I do always hear that. That's what I that's the one thing that I, I just know that I'm not going to re- like I don't I don't really live my life looking at decisions and being like, I regret that I didn't do that. I'm just sometimes I'm like, oh, that could have been interesting or that's yeah. another way it could have gone. But if I'm like pulling up to my kid's graduation from high school and all the other kids are like, your dad's so old. And it hurts. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. shuck my dick. <laughs> yeah. I, I won't pulled say that. up in a fucking badass car and I got I pulled up in a shit. Batmobile. Yeah. <laughs> But I do. That is kind of one of the defenses I use when people tell me like, oh, you know, it's so amazing. And I'm like, look, you love your kids, of course, because they exist. But if they didn't exist, you wouldn't love them because they wouldn't fucking exist. And that's yeah. where I am. People are like, you got to have kids. I'm like, look, I don't. And I feel fine. Obviously, if I you gave me a kid and you were like, OK, you want to keep him now or I'm going to take him away? I'd be like, no, I want to keep my that's fucking what's, kid. That's what's funny is you were saying that before. And I was like, Donnie, you can't do that because we're debating them and they have kids. And it's like, yeah, it's a regret for you. It's like we're, we're talking about people that exist now. I, now I, those I, are other, I, I think it's like it's a, a whole right. dynamic to the, like I'm thinking about like like baby Lynch and not this baby Lynch Lynch is baby Lynch is baby my baby Lynch. Yeah, my child yeah. <laughs> I I, th- yeah. I think it's like it's I, personally I think it's like a fundamental part of like your life is having a kid like it's well Donnie you never want to kids? experience that it's like how how not to but Donnie Donnie's out he's completely out is he completely I, out I, yeah, I don't yeah. know man it just I don't like what it does to your life in the moment. And I feel like I get. But that's on you, though. You can choose. Were you a you bad kid? 
I was a terrible kid. Is that what this is about? You think it's part of it? It's I part think of I it. was I'd... a taxing kid, and I'm just like, I don't, oh, yeah. I don't have time oh, for that were. motherfucker right now. Yo, I'll <laughs> tell you this: yeah. I was a taxing kid, and although my girlfriend's ten years younger than me, and that is kind of like ideal for me to now not. That's have weird because to... you're 25, but continue. Um, yeah, I mean, her birthday's soon, though. Um, yeah, she uh, she was a fucking terrible kid too, and I just know the little demon we would create together is like the punishment i deserve for what a little shit i was but uh yeah i don't i don't i don't want to pay that piper of your environment and if you provide your child with a better environment they could be a better person possibly yeah possibly i don't know it's oh yeah you would definitely provide a way more lit environment that's for sure lots of hiking you know not like necessarily the environment that i would love but you know if i had to choose it's just everything's more intentional now. Like he, what do you mean? Our, I want we know what we're doing better than our parents, and like look who they were raised by. They were raised by people that like were racist, bro. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Not like us. They had no information. Yeah. We're ironically racist. Yeah, completely different thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, still valid. That's the thing. Like, remember the whole Kanye Jew thing. I was mm-hmm. like, shit. Like, For obviously, sure. I'm not happy about it, but he's being very hilarious. And I still, I do have to recognize that first and foremost, my priorities are, is it super funny? And then you get those people holding up signs over the highway that's like, kill the Jews. And I'm like, this isn't amusing. Not at all. No, that's and right. it's too bad that that happens because Kanye was killing it for a second. And then his, the ending of his bit. <laughs> he thought, like, Alex like, Jones. Oh, this is a bit. He thought this is oh, the Alex Jones. Thing. Alex Jones crazy. with the little mask. And, oh, dude. But then his finale of being like, I watched 21 Jump Street. I like Jews now was <laughs> like it was the fucking perfect. You think he's writing hit. the same material? I think the whole thing, like if he literally wrote in a book in 15 years being like, yeah, that was a bit. I was playing it up for attention. I'd be like, I don't don't not believe him. Like, it's like that's really crazy out being like, I watched 21 Jump Street made me laugh. I changed my mind. I Jonah, like Jonah Hill. That is that's that's a, like, <laughs> fucking. But the problem is there's a lot of people there like <laughs> waiting to be pissed off at the next time he opens his mouth. They're like, that's. That's their job. Yeah, I, I I partook in an auction actually for uh for <laughs> Yeezys, and I don't I don't like like I don't even like the shoes. It just my app Adidas confirmed that popped up Yeezys, and I was like, oh, interesting. You know, it was like all black ones. They're nice. I'm like, okay. So I put it in for it, and there's like a thing at the bottom that's like a portion of this goes towards uh you know uh anti racist anti anti semitism blah 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 whatever and i'm <laughs> like, like okay organization to uh, anti semitism <laughs> just anti- broad, broadly, yeah. 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 no no i said yeah. anti, anti i double oh, anti. Okay. oh okay yeah, okay i did um, anti anti semitism goes to yeah. anti racism anti semitism <laughs> <laughs> like wait who's running this that show? would be a good political like platform that an average stupid person wouldn't like fully wrap right. their head around yeah yeah, yeah. we are anti- Anti anti Semitism. <laughs> they cross, oh, they don't brand they cross each other out, though. so it's just we are Semitism. They don't brand it Yeezy yeah. though, right? Now it's just like no name brand, it's just Adidas, but it looks exactly. No, it said Yeezy. Or it had uh, the supply on it and stuff. Uh, but I, I sent that to a friend. I was like, uh, uh, look, yeah, I got the. Uh, th- and he was like, fuck him. Never fucking giving him fucking anything. And I was like, oh, okay. He's like, yeah, but he gets money from this shit. And I was like, okay. But at the same time, bro, so go buy your Nikes, which are made in really chill way. And really cool people are getting that money, you know. That guy's like, acting like he, he's <laughs> never streamed a Kanye song on Spotify or anything. <laughs> or even just like every single. He's talking to me on an I iPhone, which is made by like little children fingers. Yeah. You know? And he's like, fuck that guy. He's not getting my dime. And he's like on his phone, like, boop, boop, beep, beep, beep. Dude, right, yeah, but, bro. but he wasn't. Be, he, I bet you this guy you were talking to was a Jew. And uh, first of all, that's fucked up. That's not fucked up. It's It's just reality. Even I bet you that. I bet you. I bet you. By the way, that was the second anti-Semitic thing he said. The first one was before the podcast even started recording. (laughs) 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 My dad's whole family's Jewish. I got my fucking eye on you, dude. Keep talking. By the way, by the way, I'm a Jew too. And oh, uh, really? Okay. He doesn't look like it, right? Oh yeah. Normally, I I, I trick you. I trick you. If someone's like, close your eyes, picture a Jew. It's an ugly person in your yeah. mind. Picture a Jew now. Picture he's dressed up as B-Rabbit for Halloween. <laughs> um, no, but you picture a Jew. You definitely don't. Uh, I don't. I don't picture Lynch's face. But if you're, but if you're being yeah. personally attacked, it just changes the whole, the whole thing. Now it's like you've come after me. You just focus on that. So that's why he's pissed. 
you know, but Harley. Yeah, he was. You're no, right. he was Jewish. I was right. See, there you go. So, yeah. so that wasn't even the point of what you were trying to say. But now that, like, okay, so he was Jewish. Where were you going with that? Uh, the Yeezy boost. Uh, yeah, it does say Yeezy. Uh, no, just that he was like, yeah, fuck him. I'll never spend a dime. And I thought that was, I was just like, oh, that's pretty hypocritical because, you know, if you really scrutinize everything you use, it's fucked up in one way or another. And like, yeah, 100%. Like, yeah. like I actually think like a sweat factory is worse than Kanye's comments. You know what I mean? But I don't want to like, I'm not trying to like pit them Wait, all against But don't saying that. But don't Yeezys hit both <laughs> of those anyways? Yeah. Well, I'm not trying to say that I'm good. I'm just or saying you... everyone's bad. So stop acting like this is extra bad. You know, know that's, a, that's a super hot take, Harley. Treating people like shit for almost no money is is worse than words. What? <laughs> crazy. <laughs> crazy. You no, but I know exactly what you mean. I was like, you... I, am I getting canceled live? <laughs> <laughs> if you actually sit down and yeah, scrutinize everything, like all the services you use and all the products you, you use, like, and pay attention to where they're sourced from, you'd be one depressed, sad little person because it's, we are sitting on top of a very gross pile of products made by some pretty taken advantage of yeah. people, you know, or you go off the grid. Or you Some uh, people love that. mute all the news things on Twitter and, and then you just live in bliss. Absolute I think bliss. I think the term that I'm I think I'm white pilled the term where it's uh, every everything is is wrong and that's OK mm. is I, I think what that is. Um, I know black pilled is everything is wrong and that's not OK. Uh, but like there's just so much to fight against. But, you know, we uh, you're you're world weary is what it is. Yeah, I think we got you're like, like five years away from just moving up and being a hermit like in, in northern Alaska. I can't. I can't. Yeah. Donnie's Donnie's taken me out into the wilderness before. And it was literally not even a day. And I was like, oh, I need to charge. I need to charge uh, yeah. my legs. My legs. I can't breathe. This guy was like, breathe. I'm trying to sleep in the fucking cabin. And this guy's sending B reels of me like passed out in a sleeping bag. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're, you're and there was, in. And you there need, was girls okay, there cabin up there. But then you also get Starlink or something. You get you get Internet. Yeah. Up there. You can see so you, you got tablets still. There was we had this that this, we went up this mountain. There was a cabin there and there was girls mm -hmm. in the cabin. And they have to sleep in there with us, which sucks because I'm a big, scary man. And uh, Donnie, too. Big enough and scary enough. Um, and we look like we're like distant relatives of someone that was on the hills have eyes. Like distant, <laughs> distant. But there's still a sure. connection. Uh, we, we share some DNA. And these girls had to be in there with us. And my legs were hurting. And uh, I couldn't stop my legs from cramping. And I started farting. <laughs> and I couldn't stop farting because my legs were in a weird position and cramping. And I'm like, I couldn't get a clench like, on. Donnie, Donnie. And he was laughing. And I, in my head, I was like, I can never come back here again because I need him to take care of me in this moment. And he's just laughing in my face. But I, I was cross-legged farting with strange girls like four feet away from us. And the funny thing is you thought I could do something about it for you. <laughs> You're like, I need him to take care of me. Like, what do you want me to uncross your legs and plug your asshole? Fuck? <laughs> like, <laughs> dude, help me look cool in front of these ladies. Yeah, plug exactly. my asshole, bro. <laughs> dude, what the, like, just like, rub what me scenario down. Scenario? Are you just barging into this these woman's cabin and and uh, no, it's like a so you know anything? You know anything about like like the Appalachian Trail or anything like that? Oh, it was like a communal sleeping area. Exactly. Okay. It's yeah. a it's like a cabin up in the mountains with a bunch of places for anyone to I, I didn't like knock on a stranger's cabin like yeah. peekaboo and cross legs sit down in the middle yeah. of the floor and start shitting myself. It sound like and then turn like... to me and be like, Help, <laughs> help. help. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about though. I, I was in one of those on the Appalachian Trail puking. I had like gotten super sick. And oh. I cleared that fucking place out. The second Why? I started puking, Why? everybody was just like, oh, I'm going to sit out in the rain. Bye. Yeah. It's like nobody wants to get sick days away from civilization. But what happened? Um, just just caught, caught something. What <laughs> say? So there was there's inconsistent springs that are marked all through the southern part of the Appalachian Trail. And um, <clears throat> by inconsistent, I mean, like. They only pop up when it rains, which means technically the water's coming from up the mountain somewhere and i had these i had a map where they were marked out and uh it was like hey here's an uh, like a little inconsistent spring or whatever I, I don't know the actual term for it and i was like it's pretty close i'm gonna see if it's there 
and lo and behold, it was there. It was barely trickling. And I, uh, I filtered all the water from it, but I think I got like norovirus or something from it. Like you maybe it was chardia. contaminated. Yeah, I got something. Uh-huh. And I was just puking and shitting everywhere. And uh, actually kind of similar story to yours. I was like, we left there and went to uh, at the top of uh, like Sass- Blood Mountain, maybe Sassafras Mountain. Um, there was a old like uh, colonial lodge or something that was made. And it was just an old uh, like stone cabin. And when I was in there, like because of stone, the voices echo off the walls and it's a multi-room area, but it's really small. And I was in there. And as soon as I stepped in, cause it was just pouring rain. I was like, I, I got to puke, dude. I had to puke again and I'm going to do it inside this fucking cabin. That's crazy. Talk. <laughs> cause it's just like a, a, it was just earthen floor. Right. And so I, I just puke on the floor because I'd been in the rain for like six hours at this point. I was like, I'm fucking done with the rain. I'm going to puke inside. I don't care. And I puke in there and I'm just like on the floor, like crying. By the, I thought I'd be stronger in this, by the way. I got to that point where I just started crying. I was like, <laughs> I've, I've endured enough that. And it was remarkably like n- I didn't go through that much. It wasn't that bad of a time. Yeah. But it was I'd like already, ni- it was a 90 minute hike. Yeah I, was, yeah. I was like, I could see the car like off. The- <laughs> I was like crying like I was so broken. But like after I puked as I'm sitting there just like crying like over the puddle, I hear this lady in the in, in the room. She she like whispers to her husband. She goes, we got to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and, they, and they fucking just booked it out of there. They got right the fuck out. Dude, as soon as you start puking on any sort of like long term hike, people treat you like you are a leper. They are like, I do not want to get sick out here. They just, they won't talk to you. They won't, they won't nothing. They, they won't talk to you from like 20 feet away. They don't even ask how you're doing. They're well, like, where, I don't even want to get close. Where can you mix with the general public and vomit and have people approach you and be like, oh, what would you have for breakfast there? A Jimmy Dean? Uh, like, if if I if I like puked out in my neighborhood, somebody would like roll down a window and be like, you all right, dude? Like, I, don't, like, uh, I feel like in a city or something, somebody's going to be like, are you fine? That yeah, it's I hilarious because you turn and you're like, no. no. <laughs> if I was in like uh, the grocery store and I turned down an aisle and I took and like someone started puking, I'd be like, are you good? <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. I'd be like, what'd you store, eat? Probably. Was it here? Yeah. <laughs> Was there yeah. something on this aisle? Because yeah. I have to pick up on this Who aisle. did this to you? <laughs> a restaurant also. If like the chef was in the back and started puking, I'd be like, yo, is he good? Like, was, I would check their plate. my food? Yeah, I would check their plate to see if they ordered what I ordered. For yeah. sure. If someone's the patron's puking in a restaurant. Yeah, I actually, the thing about puking is I hate it so much. So even those times where people are like, yo, just pull the trigger. You'll feel so much better. I'm like, never, motherfucker. Never. Same. Never. I, one hand, Same. One hand I, I hate it. The amount of times I've puked. I go down with the shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'd rather, I hate it. I'd rather bury it, it deep in my soul. body Same. contortion. Yeah. 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 I'm, I every like, time I'm like, I could die doing this. The way I'm doing it, I could die. <laughs> <Yeah>. Right. <laughs> Have you ever seen Benedict Cumberbatch doing those mocaps for smog or whatever from the Hobbit movies? No. And he's like crawling on all fours and he's like, eh, like Gollum. <laughs> he was like getting into it. That's how I puke. I'm like I on all fours and like I get my ass up in the air and it's just like it, it, it's too much. It's primal. Fuck. Yeah. But my fat brother, he just goes like he, he'll he be talking to you mid sentence and he'll just like, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. He'll just puke super quick and then. Like it's nothing. Like it doesn't hurt him. It doesn't. It's not like an. Is he older than you or younger than you? He's five years older. He's five years older than you. Is that why you can take down all the food you uh, make for him? Uh, He doesn't take down shit, dude. I I make him food and he'll try. Like he just he touches his tongue and he pukes. Yeah, Yeah. (laughs) easy puke. Well, you watched that Lynch. You watched. I think that's actually like one of the general Sam and you were like hating because he was doing. No, no. I think you sent me millions of views. No, no. You sent me a video of. And you're like he's fucking making his brother take. Spam shot glass shots. That's actually exactly the video I'm thinking about because that's the one you sent me specifically like a while ago. And I was watching it. I'm like, that makes me want to vomit. Um, yeah. uh, that's so mean to do to your brother. Yeah. I, I also partake. Yeah. No, I, 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 don't I just see. just go like, drink yeah, yeah. this loser. Like, yeah. I also, I try to get a little sip in. That's true. That's true. Yeah. How to taste. Because everything just tastes bad to him and his mouth ends up tasting like vomit after the first thing because he pukes every time. And so it's, and getting any response from him in terms of what something tastes like. 
It's not going to happen. He's just like, oh, it's horrible. <laughs> yeah. No, I saw him eating some garlic, uh, some garlic on toast. And he was, oh, yeah, he it. loved that. He shit. was into that. I was like, that would have like, made me puke. I was like, oh, I was kind of so into that. Garlic. That's a lot of garlic, but I would eat yeah. that, I think. I, I, can see, <laughs> I can see the allure to that uh, specific creation. Spam shots? No, no, thank you. That's, uh, Actually, today I just, I was just making one of those today. I made a, a fucking Big Mac parfait. Big you Mac. get all the ingredients for a Big Mac and you just layer it in a glass until you have a parfait. That's interesting. Was yeah. that Big Mac? Mac worth? Wait, wait, bring that back Hold for a on. second. I actually opened up Benedict Cumberbatch smog because I'd never seen that before. And it just shows you just how fucking ridiculous of a job being an actor is. Yeah. They have so much money worth of shit on him <laughs> and he's doing the most. And the image is literally like a, a high tech Snapchat filter at the end of the day. Yeah. And he's playing a dragon in that. He's getting he's, so into it. And he does look like a, like a man violently barfing. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I was thinking, like, what's a harder, more ridiculous job? Being, like, a mocap actor like that? Or one time at, like, a, I think it was, like, PAX West or something like that. This was the height of, of Ninja Blevins, his, like, Fortnite career. At that event, he was just at a computer streaming Fortnite, screaming his head off with, like, a crowd of a thousand people around him. And just the thought of like streaming to Twitch, playing a game and being that into it who, with just people who, around who you. Was, who was he? Who, what was who paid for this? Where was, what was like the, one of those fucking was it? Because that's like, like a Fortnite a, booth. That, I, oh, it's a Fortnite. Fortnite. Yeah. I think OK. Fortnite yeah, they can afford that. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm like, who fucking paid for that? Because that's expensive. To have yeah, Ninja Blevins posted up at your computer yeah. live and live. And he's being very enthusiastic about it. This is yeah. like, that was like a six figure event maneuver. And he probably had like six figures for two hours of work or something. That's crazy. What a wow. silly fucking job. Your job's fucking silly too, bro. I wouldn't talk shit, General Sam. It is silly, but I don't have the, uh, it's not as intense as crawling around acting like a dragon or live streaming Fortnite with a live audience. Mm -hmm. Well, you I did pay that, that man to cover himself in shit and tweeted it at me. Oh, yeah, dude, that guy rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know that, Donnie, when, yeah. when, and, and to the audience listening, when General Sam invited me on his podcast, uh, he tweeted at me this guy who was like, he was like, Harley, General Sam wants you on his podcast. And then I turned it off and I was like, okay. What I didn't realize until much later is that <laughs> you continue the video. He's like, he wants you on the podcast. And then he diarrhea shits in his own hand and rubs it all over his face and like yeah. eyes and his body. Holy fuck. And, uh, and then he yeah. goes, and now for a round of applause. And he does like this fucking like hip shake and slaps his cock all over his thighs. <laughs> yeah. And he tweeted yeah. that at me. Well, then again, he's not going to put on a mocap suit and act no. like a dragon. <clears throat> That'd be nuts. It's so, funny. He's like, he's like, dude, I was gonna fly you out for the podcast, but I blew the budget on hiring this shizer no, actor. The guy's like five bucks. It was like, wasn't he like fifteen dollars or something? He pays you to let him do it, probably. <laughs> dude, no, <laughs> honestly, that, cost? that guy, it was it was like sixty bucks. And I was like, you know it's that cheap because he just does it on his free time. Yeah. If he, yeah. you know, if he's willing to make sixty bucks, <laughs> like, oh, I just do the same thing I was gonna do anyways, but I shout out a podcast. That's literally that. me yeah. streaming for four hours. I was like, I was gonna game anyways, so I might as well just game for sixty bucks. Yeah, when Harley yeah. told me that you did that, I was like, I'm in. I'm in on this guy. I love that. Yeah, yes. you were like, What's his deal? I was like, Well, this is a good way to describe the type of person he is. I'm like, Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh, by the way, Nate, the guy's name is Naked Martin, and he had this he had this tweet recently where he was like, I think he's going through a rough patch or something. Yeah, like you don't like, say up to date on this guy. <laughs> Things yeah, were no, going I've, so well for him. I didn't before. know you were a, a fan. I thought it was no, a I'm a thing. super fan of Naked Martin UK. This guy rocks. Um, he he does a lot more than shit in his hand and rub it on his face. By the way, this guy's multifaceted. He's got all sorts of stuff going on. But um, he had some tweet about like, he's like, I hate shock humor because a shock humor and like comedy today is all about like tearing people down and stuff. And I was going to reply to him and be like, oh, I know exactly what you're talking about, Martin. You know, people are just so nasty nowadays and shock humor is so lowbrow. I can't stand it. Anyways, can you shit on your hand again and rub it on your face? Yeah. <laughs> what an absurd statement from it a guy that's crazy. like, gotcha, shit in my face. I yeah. think because he's like, he's, what his, his point is like, he's like, man, it's not, humor's not what it used to be. Everyone's just tearing each other down. Back in the day, we used to lift each other up and, and 
and shit on ourselves. Yeah, shit on each other. It was a positive like, experience. Yeah. We made no, shit videos for each other. Now he probably people doesn't even just... think they're funny. He probably thinks they're awesome. He's like, <laughs> this is sexy. and, and He definitely thinks like, it's sexy. A it's million art, percent. Yeah. Uh, I'm sick. I'm actually sick discussing that um, that so much. Uh, have you ever uh, had yeah. Arby's? Um, yeah, let's go directly into food. No, <laughs> no, I've never had. You never had Arby's? No, I've Me neither. driven by one. So interesting. I thought all the time. How come you don't get it when you drive by it? Because it looks disgusting in your mind. Place, dude. I'm not going there. <laughs> I don't like that. The like the the logo is like a ten gallon cowboy hat. Also, like, I don't know. What yeah, that is. <laughs> it's not appetizing. I thought it's because we're that. Canadian that we were, we were like not into the whole Arby's. Because we're we're shocked by Arby's and how it exists. It actually ranks very high as a reliable place to go eat. But none of us will go there. Or we eat there. should talked it on and an early episode, and so much feedback was like Arby's is the best fucking restaurant <laughs> yeah, in America. Into it. Those, like, no, okay. those people are fucking joking. People, <laughs> yeah. people, people that eat at Arby's are like Arby's is great, and the people that are like Arby's sucks are us who have never had Arby's. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy, and it's like, why would I go there? I know it sucks. No, no, because yeah. we were we were shocked by like QSR magazine did a ranking. They're like all this this like blonde, all this ranking of all these fast food restaurants, and Arby's was ranking real high on uh, quality. And uh, <laughs> you know how statistics work. That was their quality that they're going to deliver you the item that you asked for with no errors or mistakes or whatnot. Yeah. So like I'm yeah. thinking also like well yeah if you're taking orders one at a time every thirty minutes why would you fuck up? There's no Bro. like there's no we lunch all... rush at Arby's like everywhere else. There's like Arby's isn't bumping at fucking lunchtime, is like, it? I feel like Please it is. Tell me it's not. It's gotta be. Bro, I was you know uh, like go I was ahead. Call into question. You you, you name drop like the most non recognizable magazine. You're like according to QSR magazine. <laughs> and I was like, who the fuck is this guy in QSR? And so I looked it up. It's just like, that's all they do. Is, that's literally all they do. Fast food. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. all they do. Hey, man, that's our, right. that's our business, dude. This is what we yeah. do. You know, we work yeah, with... He's got a subscription. We talk, yeah. we, we, we talk and debate QSR uh, establishments. <laughs> rankings. So, you know, rankings. You know, we got to get deep into it and look at all the decks yeah. and, uh, and control you the You know what numbers. my problem is? Roast beef is always so... Um, it's, it's, it's not like... I don't know what's the word for it. It's like kind of raw a little bit. And so I'm like, I, I whenever you get roast beef, I'm like, I want to see the butcher cut it. I want to know it's fresh. And then I know it has a very finite shelf life. Yeah. And it's I'm not getting that from a fast food place. It just seems like food no, poisoning. It showed up frozen on a truck. Yeah, it's it a different yeah. thing. It's not it doesn't follow the same rules as the real as you know. real roast beef. Yeah. And now I don't want like weird Arby's roast beef. They have like. Exactly. It's funny you say that. I don't want like the cheese that comes out of like a, a, a hot metal box with a dispenser. I'm down with that. Like that that, that cheese fine. to me, I've always preferred actual like cheese. The the queso cheese like at a baseball game nachos. Yeah. Like, that fucks with me a little bit. It looks like a bacteria fountain. Like you can just <laughs> tell like I want to see the inside of that thing. Yeah. It sits in there yeah. hot. Like if no one's using it, it just sits in there hot. Is it even it like Velveeta? Slowly. Is it like, that? Is it like Velveeta liquid gold, you think? Or are they not, it is. not even like that? No, those commercials that. rocked, by the way. <laughs> yeah, they were you know, good. Denny's, Denny's yeah. has these zesty nachos, and the nachos are half real cheese and half that That's cheese. Fucking and nachos. like a little God, spice of some fucking like cheese sauce or something. <laughs> That was your post fight meal, and I wanted to punch you in the face. It was gross. Uh, also, Harley, do, you have like a, do you have like a woman in your life? Uh, or man? I got quite a few, actually, both. <laughs> and like some a, that you look at and you wouldn't even know like a long-term <laughs> but trust or... i'm having a good time yeah no i have a girlfriend but i, I was just wondering because you talk very much about fast food like a guy that has never had a woman <laughs> in his life i was wondering i was like damn when was the last time this guy got a home-cooked meal <laughs> uh, he's just like arby's this and those, this are place two got different, good those are two different questions the type i of... go down the baseball place if i want nachos and i get the, the, you're like listing off <laughs> fast food places like, you're like damn. strip club denny's yeah. uh the strip ball games <laughs> uh nachos from <laughs> the baseball field it's nacho week this week well uh she uh, she, she doesn't act the, the the type of woman that cooks is not the type of woman that i attract gotcha yeah. i like to have fun bro i like to have fun you know what i mean no, yeah. i'm goofing around she does she does cook uh but like not like uh not good i cook i just like that <laughs> not, not, yeah. not good or all she yeah. cooks like like fish and t tofu um, I bet you can guess where she's from now. 
uh, like fish to tofu, something like that. That's not California. All, <laughs> all instead have something like I'll make something for myself. Uh, lately, I've been making a lot of uh, bison and elk steak, wild boar. Uh, that's that's the tip oh, I've been you're on. on that that Joe Rogan meat grind. Yeah, right but now. I'm not killing them myself, so I think I'm doing him a disservice if I said I was on the Joe yeah. Rogan one. All right, would you ever be into that? The kill killing another animal. I did. I I, I shot a pheasant and I ate it. But I didn't that's do what, anything in between, and uh, yeah. that's not like the same as. Yeah, it's not a mammal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't hit the same. I, thought uh, it'd be I a still good went video. through a whole moment. I still went through a whole moment though before I shot it. It's really weird shooting a bird and seeing it go down because, like, I was just like, "Well, okay, I'm gonna take my first life ever, other than a bug. Like, I'm gonna take a life now." Yeah. And then the bird flew, and I shot it, and I was shocked. At how, because I was scrutinizing my my sentiments a lot. I was shocked at how they 180'd from me being like, I am going to do this and this is a crazy thing. Like, I can't believe I'm doing it. My ex at the time was there and she opted out of it and I was considering it. And then as soon as I did it, it was instantly gamified in my mind. And I, in fact, like, uh, you loved it. Very much enjoyed every other time that I shot one. Um, also, all of these birds were—they were—they <laughs> were, they were consumed. They—it uh, was—it was a crazy experience. And these birds went to a nearby village, and like we brought the pheasants, and they were like cheering as we pulled up with all these pheasants, like as if we did shit other than just shoot them out of the air. But they were hyped up, and they were going to eat them. So I did like you know I was like okay, well you know it's not like we're just it's just gamified here, but in my core. I, w I enjoyed that way more than I expected to leading up to it. Um, That's concerning. I, I was. Well, I can't <laughs> imagine I would ever be able to. I, I like, and maybe a lot of people call me a pussy for this, but I can't imagine I would be able to like shoot a buck or something like that. Because I watched this video of this guy and he's holding a gun at a, uh, at a, a deer and it a turns gun. and faces him uh, like a rifle, a rifle and it comes up to him and starts like sniffing the barrel and he's oh. like, okay and then he lets it go away and he just lowers the gun and i'm like there's no way i'd be able to kill like to do something like that and it's fucked up because i'll sit here and i'll eat 15 cheeseburgers and i'll be on the podcast like yeah but the cheeseburgers in those slaughterhouses are way more fucked up than actually shooting yeah. something and consuming it but uh, maybe I'm a pussy in that way. This kind of goes back to that whole everything we use is basically made with horrific yeah. conditions. We're just including outsourcing all the, them. Yeah, in, including all the burgers and stuff. Those are all Five Guys burgers. They're probably like, what are those called? Cafos or whatever, where they have the cows just bunched together and no walking around room. And they're force feeding them other dead cows and shit. And yeah. uh, horrific conditions. It's probably much more ethical to just shoot your own food. But then I get my hands dirty. <laughs> you, yeah. you know what's yeah. really crazy yeah. is we're just humans are just fucked up and people like to think like we're fucked up now but historically like the things that we did for animals like what well, back in the day to domesticate pigs we would cut their snouts off and gouge their eyes out so that they were entirely dependent on responding to your voice to feed them they couldn't sniff out food or they had they depended on you and like yeah. that's just like the type of shit we did that we were like that's so fucked up that we did that cut off their snouts and their eyeballs so that they couldn't and it's like yo the the exponentially crazier and more numerous shit we do now for our plates of bacon is insane uh i'm i'm, a, I'm down with uh lab made food cloned food future superfoods that like are 3d printed uh, i do love the ritual of eating and cooking but i would make some sacrifices for it to have a better we're, we're like, sustainable we're there with the lab made food it's like pretty much there yeah, but it's I mean, expensive yeah the cost the cost portion of it is coming down but they said they haven't quite got it to the level even though like meat it's crazy because like meat is expensive in general for the most part yeah. unless it's like pork or something but um we're pretty That's much it. you there. have to start buying it you have to start buying it to get the price down uh, but back to your thing about uh that's true yeah uh back to your thing about like hunting i've always thought that'd be a good episode for us to shoot where we actually went and you know up in canada there's a lot of like spots in alberta or whatever you can go and and this hunting season and like hunt a meal and make sort of like a epic you know thing out of that i was just like it's a lot of work and then we actually have to go and do it <laughs> we start describing it. it's like yeah we gotta we gotta skin this animal now and uh, have you hunted sam 
Um, no, I have a father-in-law that goes and kills deer and then he brings me the venison and I eat it happily and I love venison, but so good. There's a lot of sitting up in trees, like an asshole that I'm just not about. Like I got so, too much shit on my plate. I'm not going to That's fucking... your, your father-in-law posts up in the tree. <laughs> yeah. He goes out, that's he goes sick. out there and like f- fucking does the I, uh, face paint, dude. And washes his clothes and scentless detergents and. See, so oh, dude, drinks piss and shit before he goes. Out there. <laughs> you were talking about uh, your uh, before he goes. You were talking about how you were all into like the audio equipment, camera equipment, and then it just got crazy and stuff. Um, we we're talking about that I think before the podcast briefly, but stuff like that, <clears throat> or like when I rambled for like forty minutes about toys on your podcast. Whenever there's something that you can go deep into, I always like that. And I've I've never I've gone fishing like once, and I don't like fishing but when i go to the store and i see the fishing equipment i'm i'm kind of fascinated by it and hunting when i see that thing that you tie up in the tree with a chair and like a little hot plate and like your rifle so you're like yeah a tree sitting. stand yeah i'm like you're like 50 feet up just like chilling living playing game boy waiting and then you i feel like it it, it takes away a lot of the ritual of hunting that i imagined in my brain which was, yeah. you know, stalking. also like stalking, tracking, and, you know, like setting up a shot that's one angle. But you're up in the tree. It's like, bro, like cheat codes enabled, you know, God mode. Yeah. Have you ever been to like a Cabela's or like an outdoor store? And then, yeah, you just kind of wander the aisles and, and the, the other guys you pass by, you're like, I'm undercover. They think I'm one of them, you know? <laughs> yeah. And it's, it oh, yeah. makes you feel like a man just kind of walking around there going like, Oh, is this a, is this a, a aluminum wheel? Is this spindle on this uh, thing? And like, I don't know what the fuck any of that shit is. So, but I just like walk around and I'm like, oh, big gun. Uh, I, I got one of these myself. Uh, but if Abby ever, my wife, she goes there, she has her department. She goes to, I go to the man department and I just kind of hang out and act like I belong there. <laughs> You're like, really? I'm going to like, Cabela's. Uh, I got to grow my mustache out more. Yeah. We'll go in three days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I go to the camping department. I actually use that stuff. I, I go, I go hiking and stuff I, every now and then. I have a buddy who got, got into hunting and he's like, he's like the amount of money I spend on gear is out of control. Mm-hmm. He's like, it's cause like we would golf. He's like, yeah, now I'm into hunting too. And golf, like, hunting, fishing, there's always like, camping, camping. You crazy amounts kind of, of stores you can hang out in for a really long yeah. time and look you know just like check it out i guess it's kind of like video equipment like you talk well, about. what's <laughs> what's funny is harley really wasn't one to go much into like outdoor stores and i brought him hiking once and then he sent pictures from the group chat like three days later he was at an outdoor store with his girlfriend trying on clothes there and i was like oh you got like your you got your permission slip from Bro, someone those, who does it those, yeah. hi- those those pants i bought for the hike they're in regular rotation now i got these like functional like cargo pants that yeah like, zip they off, zip off? And, yeah oh yeah and have, like, get the zip off, man. yeah and they got a, uh, and i even i wore them on the plane and i landed in florida and i was like if not now then when <laughs> pulled them off I felt, Hell yeah. I felt fucking hype those uh, things pissed me off because zip off pants were big in the early 2000s oh, yeah. late 90s and they were now. fashion stairways yeah. we're back now though that's are we back? we are that's what i'm saying is like oh. so i bought them for the hike like a year ago with donnie and now they're a pant that i wear out because they just you know the zeitgeist this is this is it now gorp core uh it's coming pants back work oh, out. yeah I thought, I thought they had been relegated only to to outdoorsmen, and now no, like, all functional there. outdoor uh, clothing is considered cool streetwear oh, now. Yeah. So any any brand, so everybody go shop at REI. Yeah. Our, that's the thing. Our, I wear our, REI our clothes. I wear mm-hmm. REI clothes all the time, and my girlfriend calls them my splash pants. Really? Every time I put them, she's like, "You're not going to wear your splash mm-hmm. pants to the restaurant, are you?" Yeah, <laughs> but like, you look like such a corp or hype beast now because you have all your fall raven gear. So they're mm-hmm. like, oh, he got money. Yeah, I was about to say, it's like 60 bucks for a goddamn shirt there. So I like, I go, I go look for uh, the clearance. Rack. Dude, I'm smart. I fucking, I wait for the email <clears throat> every three months. They have some huge sales on their website. I buy it direct and fucking, I, I never buy it full price. Mm-hmm. When we were going on the hike, I needed to get a sleeping bag and stuff. And then I went to the store, like Donnie was saying. And that's when I was just like, you know, I like premium stuff in certain scenarios. But I also like best bang for buck. And I'm looking at these sleeping bags and I'm like, damn, this thing, the sleeping bags are go up to fifteen hundred dollars. And I know that you could obviously get even more than that. But just looking at like a fifteen hundred dollar sleeping bag is fascinating itself. Cause now I'm like, 
holding up a $1,500 one and a $700 one. And I'm like, now what's the difference? And that's when you start to just the weight, like you just read shit. Yeah. The weight was a huge factor, making it lighter. And, uh, if it was cold weather and, uh, uh, the height was something that was important to me. I had to get a seven foot one. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to find a long say, sleeping bag. Yeah. Who would buy a thousand dollar sleeping bag? I forgot you had to get one made for fucking Gumby. Yeah. It's like a custom, <laughs> custom seven footer. Yeah. Jesus Christ, dude. No wonder that thing was expensive. Yeah. Because yeah. I think they, by default, they're six feet. I'm like six two. So I just, you know, I got, I, I just get a little bit of my chin sticking yeah. out in the mummy bags. They're a little bit tight, but I just buy a regular sleeping bag. Yeah, yeah. that sucks. I think I have, I think I got a mummy. My, my sleeping bag ended up being the brand name of the store I was in and it was on sale. It ended up being pretty hype. It was like, uh, it was like 600 canadian and uh but then i just like you know then you go buy your poles and then i'm like typing in are these also at costco oh and you bought you know, poles. Like, yeah you bought poles and you know what it, donnie was like yeah if you want you like i bring them but if you want and and really they were so fucking clutch i couldn't yeah it's all you don't you don't get clown for the poles the poles are a thing that you want to have on this hike it's when not, you you get when clown you have, if you're walking up rego with the poles you got to be in a if real hiking situation no it's not about real hiking it's about your backpack if you have a small bag on you don't really need them if you have a backpack that has enough weight that it'll stumble you then the poles really help keep you on the trail Oh, sure. I poles also just lot. like I, f I feel like I was just so much more stable. Yeah. You know, really? oh, and you just feel too. cool. Cause, oh, yeah. Uh, he's poles going up those hills. Dude, Look at the animals. Yeah. Look at the animals in the woods. Fuck. They're all on four legs. We're walking around on two being like, oh, my back. <laughs> yeah. Like, and yeah. you have to have two. Like some people go like, eh, instead of the poles, I'll get a walking stick. I do. Doesn't I, cut it. You need you need the poles. I love Lynch's default toxic male uh, fucking yeah. take down. Yeah. He's like, oh, so you like poles? <laughs> I don't put poles on, so you don't get clown for that. Okay, I, you're about I'm, to. Okay. You look, <laughs> you're allowed <laughs> to, okay. bro. My default position is though. like you see someone walking with like a like a like a couple of poles. You're like, oh, that guy's a loser. Well, I don't. What when I fuck? see people on the sidewalk. People walking down the street with trekking poles, and I'm like, when you're like Wait. under, and you're under like, I and I could fifty or something. I'll tell you something for me. When I had the poles, like when I was taking pictures, putting it up on social media, yeah. having the poles was like, yeah, this is that kind of hike. Uh, we had to bust out the poles. You're flexing. You're flexing. Yeah, like, like this is not a walk. It's not just a yeah. fucking walk. Uh, it's ain't a day trip. <laughs> no, yeah. it's like we got the fucking poles out here. Yeah. <laughs> you do what about you do this in the. Uh, I know you're from Tallahassee, but you ever do this in, in the snow? You ever go snowshoeing or anything like that? Cross-country skiing? I've only been hiking away from Florida. Like, I've never. Like, like Georgia. What is there to, yeah, what's there to hike here? It's just like a parking lot. Like, I just walk around flat. So There's no lit-ass Miami-Dade trails? There probably <laughs> is, but, like, I might go hiking there. Uh, the last place I went was um, Idaho. Oh, shit. And it was. Far from home. Shout out yeah, to five guys, potatoes. Yep. <laughs> And um, I I brought me and my friends, Hoob, you know him. We, yeah. we all went hiking, and uh, it actually there was some there was some learning experiences there, dude. When you go to buy shit for a hike, you read those things, and it's it, some people cheap out. I'm not gonna point any fingers, all right. But the guy that cheaped out on our trip, I wasn't Paid. gonna. I wasn't going to be too critical of him because I was him a couple of years ago. I thought he's not going to get an hour and 10 minutes into this podcast. Don't worry. Tell me how. He yeah, he's up. A, yeah. He, he <laughs> fucking cheaped out. He went to like uh, the Canadian version of Walmart and just was like, I want the cheapest fucking bag, the cheapest boots, the cheapest everything. Yeah. yeah and yeah. we were maybe two miles from the car and his shit just like just disintegrated <laughs> his backpack the strap fell off the fucking the the yeah. are these things the uh the strap around the waist the which belt, is like yeah. the head belt is so important for just keeping yeah. the weight off your shoulders boom disintegrated i got uh like i got cheap poles and they broke on the way up mm -hmm. and and i was like you know like i got the cheap poles if you ever like when you get cheap it's it's, it's literally can be a one-time use when you really put it through the ringer like that uh and uh my bag was fine, but I was like, I if this was any longer, I need a good small. bag. Yeah, I didn't have I didn't have a waist belt, and I didn't have uh, the proper socks. I had cotton socks on, and that almost fucked it up because they got like wettish and gave me a blister. Oof. And Donnie gave me his wool socks, 
they are not fucking around when they say get wool socks and wool underwear like wool like uh but what's that called uh the base uh, layer the base layer yeah and you need to have my the one that i fucked up on was a raincoat like a shell or something yeah Yeah. poncho you make sure that fucker is gore-tex they act like it's waterproof i don't think it is and those (laughs) columbia jackets that people are like oh you these are a good alternative they're like 50 bucks for like a a rain cover from nah that will keep you dry for like 38 seconds in rain and then it starts bleeding through yeah i honestly i saw a guy that the the most effective hiker i've ever seen was probably a homeless guy that i saw on the trail on the appalachian trail all he had he had a pair of wranglers on first of all that was a bad move and then yeah. he just had uh you know new balances or some shit and he had a a, a wilson duffel bag over his shoulder but Jesus. his his uh when rain came i passed by him again and he had a fucking glad bag, a trash bag that he poked a, he made like a poncho with it. No, this and one. it was just like a tarp and he was dry as shit under there. And I was out there with my cinched up little rain, uh, the uh, windbreaker thing and whoosh, whoosh, with my poles soaking wet to the <laughs> bone. Like it doesn't, if it, it says it's a rain jacket, but I'm telling you, dude, if you're out there in the rain long enough. You're going to get soaked. It's got to be, it's got to be the, like the Gore-Tex, like the real deal Gore-Tex, not the fucking Omni Shield high vent, That's whatever. what that, what, the Omni Shield from Columbia, yeah. it says it's waterproof, right? Yeah. There, where it says Water Omni resistant. Shield, it's yeah. right above it, it says, no, it, not waterproof, it says weatherproof, uh, which I think is just a made up marketing thing. Exactly. It doesn't guarantee yeah. shit. Exactly. Weatherproof, yeah. yeah. That's a way get yourself that, the sure. real Gore-Tex branded shit. And you guys are from Montreal, Canada, right? Yeah. 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 You guys know, cold. have you almost had like, have you ever had like hypothermia? Have you ever woken up and been like, this, this is not right. I feel like I'm slipping into the void. No, no. I've heard like oh, no. the, the know, craziest thing that's here. happened to me is uh, sleeping out with no tent just in the winter. It was probably minus 20. And the way I was tucked into my mummy bag is when I was exhaling. I'm tucked into your mummy? <laughs> I was I tucked into my mummy, into mummy comma bag. Um, and my my uh, my eyelashes froze shut. So I woke up in the morning and I couldn't open my eyes. That is so oh. bitch that you oh. let Mother Nature pinch your eyeballs closed like that. That's I, badass, though. <laughs> I had, to, I had to pinch my eyelashes with my fingers to, to melt them it? long enough to open my eyes. <laughs> That's yeah. okay, well, then this is going to make this sound sad because a thousand miles south from where you were experiencing <laughs> You caught the sniffles. I got super wet, just completely soaked. My back or in my backpack, the fucking rain shield or whatever I had for my backpack. I cheaped out on this one. All right. I'm not going to lie. I was that guy. My rain fly or whatever from my backpack got soaked all the way through. And um, which means my sleeping bag got soaked. Oh, God. And I was soaked. And then I had to sleep just in a wet sleeping bag. And we're at the top of a mountain where none of the trees were there. They had been completely obliterated by something. And so the wind was just whipping and hitting, just, just hitting us directly, man. And, uh, I like, I woke up the next morning and I couldn't talk. Yeah. Cause I was that cold where oh, like I, fuck. my vocals wouldn't work. And I, I was like Jack at the end of Titanic. I was like, and I like, I couldn't like form words and shit. And I got up and I realized how. It was like I was insanely drunk. I was just so lethargic and sluggish. And then uh, and I, was, I thought nothing of it. And I got moving and everything. It's the and first like, sign of hypothermia is stumbling and mumbling. And I looked, I was looking back and I was like, I could have died up there if I would have just yeah. like slept a couple more hours, you know, if I wasn't, if I didn't get woken up by something, I forget what it was. It's and it happened. Said, you asked if we were uh, like Canadian and it's like, oh, did you ever experience? It's, it's funny. I feel like you're more likely to be in that scenario, whereas we would have a better understanding of just how quickly and how fucking cold things can get. Because, you, like, it, you could have summer here. It's 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 practically summer, and we'll have a cold-ass day randomly. Uh, it's, like, literally within the last month, there was just a mad cold day two, two weeks ago. Uh, but I the times that I got cold, there were scenarios, like, at summer camp where I just banked on, you know, that it, it doesn't yeah, get July. wet. It yeah. doesn't get wet and doesn't get a little cold from here. But when you get wet and a little cold, it like compounds on itself and you're fucked. Um, yeah. But yeah, Donnie, you were about to say 
Uh, was I? I thought you were going to say something. I don't know. We've had friends that almost lost a foot. <laughs> um, the you're closest not, you're I've not had to Canada winter wonderland. Well <laughs> you're not what? selling Canada very well uh, as a place to come visit. You know, well, mm. well, it's dress warm. Yeah. He didn't hype up Tallahassee anyway. So <laughs> no, no, no. I, I love the cold now that I've gotten older. I and I respect it a little bit more. But uh, I and I'm prepared now uh, because I have the money to be prepared. <laughs> when I went on that first hiking trip, I was kind of you know I wasn't doing so well. But now I got the uh, you know REI. What was that like? Hard Hard Rock or something? There's like some stupid. Hard, 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 hard rock hard like clothing company or some shit. I I bought like I got my rain jacket this time from like a reputable. It's like an actual rain jacket. It'll keep you dry forever. From but that's just expensive. Uh, yeah. yeah. I have a question. Do you, so when you do the, when you go on these trips, do you guys pool together your resources and cook together? Like, do you have a list where you uh, have a grocery list? You go all shopping together and you cook all your meals, or is it every man for himself on this um, type of thing? Each person carries their own food, okay. but, and if there, if there's like two people, like when me and my brother would go, we would both bring stoves. Cause like, what if one breaks, Yeah, you right. know, but as for cookware, it's like, yeah, I don't think you need to double up that much cookware and, you know, but once you have four people, you can start cutting weight on shit easy. Like you don't need to bring four stoves. You don't need to bring four things of cook cookware. So you start, you know, one guy actually last time I was kind of pissed because the Idaho camping trip, I think I carried all the food. And I carried like four cameras and a drone. I was like, <laughs> and you only like realized when you down. got there, you're like, wait a second. When you put your yeah. bags down and no one else had anything, you're like yeah. Samwise Gamgee fuck with the pots <laughs> banging off no, your no, bag. No. <laughs> there is a scene. Okay, so that's actually what kind of irritated me here was like Poob. His bag was. He was like, I don't have any room for any of the stuff because he brought so much. We- just like. Brought his pillow from home. No, and he shit. just random shit like that. There is a scene where his bag does have like it's like a pioneer, like a prospector. He's got <laughs> cups banging around and shit. And but he brought like he brought leather clogs with spurs. <laughs> what? And he brought a, a crushable <laughs> Wait, cowboy hat for the like, gram, bro. For the yeah, gram. No, for the video because it was hilarious, you know. And we each had like capes, you know. And you were we had a lot of dumb wise, Gab G. Yeah, yeah, we had a bunch of dumb shit, but I was like, there's also some stuff that's like important for our survival. You're like, can someone carry one camera? Like I'll with. take the rest, but like one <laughs> yeah, camera. <laughs> like one camera, please. But um, I pulled up this uh I had to pull up the REA uh REI uh rain jackets. Yeah. Uh, and there's just a lot of fire stuff here. All these there, rain jackets it, are they look so incredible. And it's so funny because there's two rain jackets next to each other and they look like they're the same rain jacket, except one will be this uh, trail made REI co-op rain jacket, uh, $70. And it's just next to the beta LT jacket from Arcteryx, $450. And right. Like, but hey, the beta look, LT the is same. Beta LT is Gore-Tex. And the other one is just the nylon f- essentially so talking, a garbage bag. What about bag the beta AR jacket though? The AR I think is even better than the LT because the LT is light. Woo! The 600 AR. bucks though. You know, I always, yeah. I always know, like, uh, I've got the Theta AR, bro. When, uh, damn, dude, this guy be outside a lot. I'm, I'm the, yeah. he is our I'm outside, the alpha he's our outside guy. Yeah, he's the one that tells us. You're, you're the one that experience. You could probably teach me a thing. Or you can't. This is not. Well, being I asked, the alpha. I asked you, you guys are the actual alphas here. Like, let's break it down realistically. Outdoor, uh, that's you and Donnie, uh, and then no, who, no, I don't who, go outdoors a lot. I just do who, it. But now for, like, who's got two vacations. kids? That's you. You have the, probably the highest T on this podcast, and that's. But I'm the crazy. only person that has actual evidence that I've had sex twice. <laughs> got two kids. <laughs> Yeah, Lynch true. has can prove it once. Yeah, I got once. once. Yep. That and, you, yeah, I've got, I've got evidence, mystery. but it's And if my allegations ass. were true, <laughs> I would also have proof. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, reason, the reason why I asked you about uh, if whether you guys are sharing uh, food, because Donnie, because he is our resident outdoorsman. I mean, the guy's hiking mm-hmm. every week. Uh, he revealed on his one of his recent camping trips that he they shop together. And they pick out their food. There's some debates, uh, of course. You know, he puts it on his card. He puts it on his card. There's a whole system. But they picked up these chocolate-covered almonds or something like that. <laughs> and Donnie, low-key. classic. Low-key, yeah, they're going through the checkout line. They are pretty good. I like them. He takes it and drops it off the thing because he didn't agree with it as being something they should have on the meal. But didn't tell the group. 
One guy saw him oh. do it, and he's like, "You better not say anything." We, <laughs> no, you're making you're, uh, it doesn't matter. You're fact, it doesn't matter it. if there's one guy. The point is, Donnie took out the chocolate covered almonds. That's and- a morale item. That's not even like a. That's Bro, so and they up got to throw away a morale. Item. And they got to like they had dinner, and everyone loved it. Donnie, I thought you made the call on dinner and the dessert, which was a cheesecake, which everyone loved. Also, that's the thing. I brought and a then, fucking cheesecake. And, yeah, and okay, then that's people, a morale. Wait, but then people were like, "Yeah, now let's crack open those almonds," and that's and and my biggest thing was I was like, "Oh, I wish I knew just in the car." If you're like, "I took out the almonds," I'd be like, "Fuck you, dude." But like to climb up the whole way and just Honestly, eat it's the on cheesecake, site. thinking I'm that there? there's almonds there. Yeah, me too, Lynch. I'm on, like, on site, bro. Yeah, 100%. like you're not coming down the mountain, no, Donnie. No, no, that's it. Fucking make the problem. This is, but you. but the cheesecake is a little bit like what, like a full ass cheesecake. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Here's the, right. Here's the thing. It's here's the thing though. It's like, it's like there's there's different types of trips. This was not like us like humping up a mountain with big rucksacks and like you know stoves and shit we were this was car camping we were next to the car a good time to have some chocolate covered almonds to be honest that's we were perfect time. Yeah, oh I don't we want to bring the almonds deeper I want you don't have any car. defenses for this really yeah. you threw away Here, good I'll, stuff I'll and... tell you what my one defense was at the time <laughs> was that it was like it made you gro- feel good it wasn't a branded <laughs> chocolate almond it was a dark chocolate covered in a clear plastic bag like packaged by the grocery that's store fun. bulk you understand item. Sam, like, he these are hated. He hated that these almonds were near his selections, which he <laughs> he valued yeah. so highly that someone would take these motherfucking they cheap were a ass bad almonds choice. and and just tarnish the receipt, this Trader Joe's receipt with yeah, I that. Know what item. It is this guy's been name dropping uh, product names. He's been name dropping <laughs> stores and product lines and shit. He didn't like that those almonds. Weren't We're something you not. saw in Rock Climber magazine or whatever. <laughs> yeah, they, that's not what the big guys are talking about on the mountains. They weren't you of good providence. Guys, yeah, you guys yeah. were just happy with your chocolate covered almonds, and it pissed him off, and he got rid of them. It's funny you, you know say what that. I do he... is moon pies. Moon pies are light as shit, and it it makes you feel good if you. You know what's funny you know, about it's not where... like a heavy thing to go hiking with. No, right. it's funny where we're from. Um, we have half moons. They're called. And it's picture a moon pie, but cut it in half, and there's no chocolate covering. What's the point? It's delicious. It's ima- imagine. Others- it's imagine. It's like a Twinkie, basically. It's uh-huh. a Twinkie, our moon pie, but it's called half moon. We also- and it's a half. And then for what a moon pie is that you have, we call the May Wests, and they'll fucking blow your mind, bro. May they, West, a May West, yeah. yeah, a May West, or there's a chocolate version called a Joe Louis. And they will fuck you up. That's why you gotta Louis come, gotta come to Montreal. I Joe Louis weak. I prefer Mae West big time, but some people like Joe Louis. Yeah, I, I like a Mae West much more, much more, and I like it better than a moon pie, and I like a half moon better what than about a moon an pie. caramel. And you like you like moon oh. pies? What yeah, about a like passion moon flaky, bro? If you well, like I, moon was pies, gonna, I was gonna take it. You there. gotta come to my house. Bring, bring, bring the whole gang, and we're gonna get fucking high. <laughs> show, show up with me and my kids. <laughs> There's room. There's room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring them. Bring, 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 bring the the forehead fables gang too. Okay. Um, and uh, you do a podcast. We'll book you here in Montreal somewhere a live one. You must have some fans in Montreal, and uh, we'll fu- I'll get you guys high. And we're gonna eat half moons and Joe Louis and May West. It's gonna fuck you up. You're gonna love it. That uh. Actually, does sound awesome to be honest. And it's funny that you said that Donnie <laughs> tried was... experimental food and smoke a lot. Yeah, yeah that sounds awesome. Yeah, and you funny you said that Donnie likes all the uh, the fancy things like that. I, I guess he does. I hadn't really noticed because Lynch is the one that actually likes the stuff like that. If you're paying attention, Lynch was the one that was also like camera equipment, golf, and like once yeah. you get into golf, it's like now you're like like golf assumes you're rich. Right off the bat. So entry level bare bones shit is still going to be costly in the golf game because they're just like no, playing golf. No. You know what? Your hiking shit up. is way more expensive than golf, man. It's way more expensive. Golf's just a, it's a good time. I highly recommend it. You know? It doesn't have to be right. It also depends how crazy you go. I think it gets a bad it gets a bad rap. I mean, you're. it's like people are like, oh, it's only, uh, you know, you can play golf for 20 bucks, like 15 bucks, you know, a little, little par three course or whatever. It's a good time. If you want to hang out. Kind of the same idea as hiking, but it's not as long of a process with your friends. You can spend four hours with your buddies and hang out and then go home. You know? Did you do your golf? Top golf kind of guy. Oh, oh, I love top golf. Yeah, because you can drink and eat food. Yeah. And you don't have to walk around. I never ate food at top golf. Is it good? 
I, I'm not sure if we had catered food or if they serve food, but I went there for my dad's birthday party and there was a shitload of food and a lot of alcohol. And then we were just doing happy Gilmore yeah. like run up, <laughs> <sighs> knocking them out there. And as soon as that little guy comes out to pick up all the golf balls, everybody's just kind of beating the them. shit out of yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to, uh, to, to be at top golf for your father's birthday with you and your brother. <laughs> I want to be I there. I want to be ragging on that guy that comes to get the balls with you. You know? Yeah, that's it's honestly a fun time. Yeah, yeah. I want to push him over with your brother. <laughs> <laughs> I want to push people over at Top Golf with your brother. Yeah, I think you would actually get along with my brother. A hundred percent. I saw yeah. the videos. I was like, I want. He's him. our second. I was like, guest. I want him yeah. on my couch now. <laughs> yeah, he's he's definitely a bro. He's a bro. Yeah, yeah. I could yeah. tell just from like just how, just from his 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 beard, and yeah, his shirt selection. I was like, yeah. this, this guy's a good time. Guys that like that, it's it's pretty rough because there's pressure that you're gonna be a good time. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. yeah that's like true. if he came and he was mad negative. It, it would fuck people up because it's just yeah, like, like why are you wearing the fun guy facade <laughs> yeah, if you're yeah. not a fun Negative. guy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think that stuff I think that stuff makes a difference. I I thought about it many times amongst my friends. Like if I were if I were five seven and my name was Arbly. Scott. Yeah, it's just a lot of my bits aren't good. Like if I'm five seven, I'm like, what up? It's Scott. People would be like, shut the fuck up, Scott. Get out of the way of the TV. But instead I come and I'm like, yo, what up? It's big H. And everyone's like, ah, this guy, you should box a wrestler, bro. <laughs> so uh, are you gonna do another one? I don't know. I actually got offered a three fight deal, and I'm like, YouTube's so weird, bro. <laughs> Like, yeah. yeah, I lost the last match, and I feel like my stock went up somehow. Um, yeah, like, like, look, look who you people. fought, bro. Look who you fought too. Yeah, dude. it is true. It's just like, yeah, we don't have uh, many over two hundred pound YouTubers down to box. I don't know, Why, Sam said you you're you're to? six two, Sam. What no, you don't know. I don't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't do it. I didn't take the uh, deal as it was because a part of me was like, uh, you know, I still like I don't you have leave to on, box. on top. Yeah, I don't have to box, you know. Uh, I'm like, I don't want to push it too much. You know what I mean? It's good I didn't get injured or anything. I had a fun time. I don't want to, like, push it. I do want to continue training boxing because I got I got super fat. Have you had your fat arc? You, you've you uh, put on some weight before, no? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was oh, looking yeah. through your pictures. It looked like you were like this and then like that and then like this. Yeah, I went through, like, my <sighs> I'm doing nothing but playing games and making video era. Mm. Yeah. And it was... uh debilitating you know having kids and then i realized i i had a hard time getting up off the floor because i was like oh like my fat <laughs> gut was in the way. you must have dad and, strength uh, now well, you know you got that yeah yeah now i got the dad how uh so, so you're you're in better shape now than when you had your first kid yeah for sure no there was also i started to like lose weight and then i was putting my daughter into the crib and you know you have to like lean over the the little wall the little prison wall yeah and as I was lowering her in, I like sneezed or something, and I fucking herniated a disc in my back. Oh shit! Holy and uh, shit. I couldn't even like walk. Like That's I, I would fuck. just have this sciatica pain that would shoot down Ooh, my. If right I had leg. that before, it's so bad. The worst, yeah, it's the weirdest it, it would, feeling. Just fire like in my calf and like right there, like down the back of my thigh Instant and everything. Karma for holding your child up and sneezing in their face before you put yeah. them. <laughs> oh. And uh. And it, like that, I couldn't even fucking like walk well. So yeah, I, I got like my most fat there. Lynch and I have like really like not the exact type of content that we consume, but a lot of it is guilty pleasure type content. What, what mm -hmm. type of content do you do? You watch any YouTube or Twitch? Oh, like what's my what's yeah, my you uh, watch what, YouTube what's, YouTube your time, what's your timeline? Yeah, yeah, or you watch? Yeah. Oh, I I'm like if. First of all, I am like a I love music videos. I will watch music videos all fucking day. If it, if the song sucks, the music video is good. I like the song just based off of how good the music video is. But uh, actual like YouTuber wise, got got the fucking camping guys not here. There's that dude that um that goes and camps like he'll just like camp behind a target like by the loading dock. Oh and yeah, see if he hide in the bush him. and stuff like yeah. in a roundabout. That guy fucking yeah. rocks. Yeah. That guy's awesome. 
And then uh, I also watch a lot of like manly shit because it makes me like maybe I think this might rub off on me. So it's like dudes fixing shit in their house yeah. or DIY car, stuff. Car video. That's Donnie also. Car Donnie will hit me up. He's like, I'm yo, I fixed my truck. Oh. I'm not big on cars. No, I, I, watch, yeah. I watch videos about guys talking about like that's like uh, Scotty Kilmore and he like talks about cars and just goes off. And I'm like, I don't actually care about this, but this is interesting <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> it's interesting to hear someone just sit there and talk about something they're incredibly yes. interested yeah, in. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Even if it means nothing to you. I, agree, I yeah. don't I don't uh watch really I don't watch manly content at all. Really? The most manly content I watch is stuff that is uh like I'm not I'm not watching it seriously. Like you're watching guys with ten Instagram models behind them yelling at them pretty much. Yeah, that's exactly. That like I'm that watching type of manly like content? that guy that's like uh so I went into the gym today and this Dude, I went to high school with came up to me and asked me what's up, you know, and told me I was doing a workout wrong. You're fucking fat as shit, bro. You think I'm going to listen to you tell me how to do a workout when you can't even manage to control your own fucking eating? How about you look in the mirror, change your life around, worry about yourself. Don't worry about what the fuck I'm doing in the gym. I'll watch that <laughs> and not the way that the, the creator intended me to watch it. And YouTube recommended doesn't understand how yeah. I'm consuming this. Right. And it's like, oh, you like that? You're going to love this. And I'm like, no, that's entirely different. I think that's fucked up what you just showed me. Actually, I don't want none of that. <laughs> this is fun to me because this was funny. Um, then and, YouTube shows uh, it to you 10 more times. I'll watch those. Yeah, I'll watch those like um, uh, reject, uh, embrace masculinity, reject weakness. And it's always oh, like yeah. a clip like of the like the man sphere. Yeah, it's like yes. the core core or whatever. It's like a clip of H three being like, I don't like going to the gym and oh, yeah. avocado like oh, crying yeah. and eating tacos. And then it'll be like, no. I enjoy and then it'll show like SEAL Team Six repelling yeah. down a building <laughs> with rifles. Running through knee deep water. Yeah, and someone deadlifting with like... a bloody nose and like Jordan Peterson being like, Who would build the sewers? And like, and, yeah. like the music. I love it's that men. Is, like every time there's like a visual of like man, man, manly shit happening they always put jordan peterson's fucking high-pitched weird little nasally yeah. voice <laughs> His as if this voice. is supposed to be like the soundtrack of manliness you said you liked music videos eh? you ever yeah. see the uh taylor swift wildest dreams music video no i actually haven't i'm not <laughs> Uh, I, I don't just, go cruising. He's Taylor more of an Ariana Grande. Oh, just because yeah. said no, no, not it's not even like the music. It's just I'm it's team a, Ariana Grande. Oh shit, he baby. got the shirt. Got the shirt. <laughs> we don't fuck with Swift in this household. That bitch well, with her racist boyfriend or something. I don't know. I keep seeing her name on Twitter. Who my girlfriend? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Taylor Swift. The uh, yeah, it's a good video. She she's just it, it's just like. Uh, she goes to film this video in Africa uh, with uh, the co-star. Anyways, guys listening, go watch it, I guess. Taylor Swift, Wildest Dreams music video. And Sam, if you want it, also you can check it out. It's an old music video. I had a whole bunch for you, actually, but uh, I'm not going to give you a lot do of them. I just think you'd them? enjoy it. Do they make them the same anymore, music videos? You know, back in the MTV, MTV days when they were spending like $3 million to make a music video or whatever it was, like, it that. depends. Some of the most iconic ones are just like the band playing a song. Yeah. You know, like uh like what was it? MTV Unplugged, like yeah. there's that famous Nirvana one where yeah. they didn't want them to do it live. They want them just uh what was that called? Like uh where you just act like you're singing. Yeah. That's called lip, lip syncing. Yeah. yeah. And so they just acted like they weren't even playing. They were just doing their hand <laughs> like this in front of the guitar and stuff. Yeah. Those are the some of those are just iconic music videos, but well, yeah, a lot of those. I actually really like those like weird niches that become so hyper specialized on YouTube that they're just a giant circle jerk of the same shit happening, but they get views. You know, like hydraulic presses. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, watch yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. That's Snapchat content to me. Oh, oh, and my favorite, the recent one is carpet cleaner guys that clean carpets on YouTube Shorts, yeah. and it's there's you there's no way these are actual carpets. Yeah. These are carpets that they bring in that are pitch black that looks like an elephant has been stomping shit into it for 50 years. And the guy like <laughs> pressure washes it and it's a white, beautiful white it's carpet. It's so I'm crazy. Like, the water that comes out of it. Nobody is... owns that carpet. Yeah, exactly. That's not someone's carpet. You bought like, that carpet yesterday and poured mud on it for three yeah. days and like charcoal dust and stuff. 
That's not an actual carpet you were paid to clean. Right. And if it if it was that dirty for as long as it would have to be to get that dirty, you probably wouldn't have gotten it that clean. Yeah. It's because it was a new carpet that you artificially blackened. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen like a, a carpet with just like, yeah, this has dog diarrhea on the corner and I have to get that out. <laughs> like, you know, that's 90% of what those guys deal with. Yeah. But every time it's on like a YouTube short or something, it's like, look at this black carpet I got out of a cemetery. Yeah. And then by the time he's finished, it looks brand new. I have my on my satisfying. my floor. I I literally have hash pressed into like multiple parts of my floor because I'll be rolling. That's hash. what's happening in here. Yeah. yeah, that's what those dots are. And like like once I've a seen month, it. Once are you guys in the same place? Yeah, he's yeah. upstairs. Oh, okay. Because I saw like a tall motherfucker walk by the background of your camera before we started. That was, was, was not his boyfriend. Yeah, I was like, was it, that was yeah. 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 But then yeah. you sat down and your room's all purple and game. <laughs> yeah, this is the bisexual <laughs> lighting. I know. I'm in the cancer lighting. Suck each other off in that room. And this looks like the room that would be the one that, that you would that do that in. in. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I do think that's really funny is that the, the, the just the whole like gamer lighting thing that it's it's just a, a a thing i i drive by houses and i look in rooms and i see it and it's one thing because i'm like oh it's a person that's you know some kid and they they see it and they do it but why am i sitting in the lighting why am i a grown-ass man got a fucking lime green light behind the couch and yeah. i'm in the purple i'm in the purple room and i gotta tell you like it make it makes me happy it makes me feel like i'm in the gaming room Makes you feel young again. Makes me feel like gaming's saying. about You're to go just down. The kids. If I want to suck someone off, then so <laughs> be it. <laughs> uh, regardless of the lighting. Regardless, yeah. I just like I do. I, I, I every time I see, I'm like, yo, gaming's going on in here, boy. It's like so when I come down here and it's computer gaming, I kind of like having the bisexual lighting. I'm like, all right, you know, play some games, maybe a little, <laughs> yeah. play some Battlefield, but. Play some Tarkov. What up? You know, who knows? Maybe we get a little crazy. Maybe, you know, maybe we maybe look at some guys sucking each other off after. <laughs> Dude, this guy. If the lights are going yeah, yeah. to be purple. If the lights are going to be purple. There's a reason why this guy ain't got no kids yet. Yeah. He is. Yeah, yeah, uh, I, I thought the first I, one was a Freudian I ain't done slip my gay era yet. Yeah. yeah, he's it's, hitting soft targets. Yeah. I ain't done with my gay era yet. Oh, I have man. to. I have to. I have, once I start my sane, straight, and strong arc, mm -hmm. that's when I'll do it. But this isn't currently my sane, strong, straight arc. It's my sane and strong arc. You need to enter <laughs> like the man sphere, like those sigma, yeah. whatever. Like you need to start well, getting that type of audience. He's time. been entering way too many men. I think I don't. And then, know if it and needs then you to... need to turn and just be like, by the way, I'm only into this shit because I'm into dudes. I'm into <laughs> alpha dudes. It literally I thought like, about that. Brains like, would explode if you did that. Peak, peak epic <laughs> meal time. I'm like, should I just have like mad dudes on this episode and just randomly like tongue kiss them in between, like putting the bacon <laughs> in the oven, and we don't even. Yeah. Yeah, it. Yo, pa pass me the yeah, <laughs> pass me a beer real quick, and you fucking yeah, you do an open mouth kiss on them. Like just don't don't even mention it. You know, yeah. and they're it's all just, you see like, it happen. Every, yeah, I'd love to see the comments on that. Everyone's in matching o jean overalls, like with no shirt under. <laughs> yeah, you are just actually just blue jeans and jacked. Mm. No shirt, blue jeans, jacked, oiled up. There's just, actually this. Just uh, all your friends in the kitchen. There's this particular nightclub in uh, in Montreal that's a, a late night nightclub. Calling it a nightclub kind of downplays. It's a very interesting yeah. experience. And when you go in on one side, are all guys wearing blue jeans with their shirts off, and that's that's the gay men, and oh. they all dance, and that's their vibe, and that's just that's that area. And so I'm invited to come to Montreal. Well, that's the thing is, you know, we'll be on the other side, but you can oh, you'll catch yourself, interested. you'll catch yourself. <laughs> kind of dancing over to that side, and then before you know it, you're like, "Well, how'd I get here?" What's I'm getting on? no pussy on the heterosexual side, <laughs> yeah. so yeah, I ain't going home alone. <laughs> tractor beam. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought about that. I was like, I'm sure I could have a better batting average if I was gay. Like, I'm sure Absolutely, what I offer yeah. is probably more in demand visually for gay men than than straight women. You know. Like, I feel I like gay men are like, I want a big, hairy, stinky man. And no woman's like, I want a big, hairy, stinky man. <laughs> yeah. I I did see. Uh, have you ever followed like the Tinder subreddit? Yeah, yeah. I'm on that. It It's awesome because it's like it's nothing but horror stories. 
And you'll see sometimes gay dudes are like, I still do like Tinder instead of Grinder because dudes on Grinder are just fucking gross. They are just, they are there to fuck. Like you'll just get unsolicited, just asshole gaped pics oh. and just, and they're just like, I'm going to fucking tear you up. It's like, mm. dude, this is not even a hi, not even a hello. <laughs> just like, you want to get fisted tonight? <laughs> and it's like, dude, it's, they, yeah, dudes are way too fucking horny. I yeah. bet you if you went over to that, that Tom of Finland side of the bar. Yeah, you'd be walking out of there with somebody. I'd be the guy that's like, ooh, it's going to get fisted tonight. Yeah. <laughs> you, you would look terrifying in like BDSM, uh, uh, you know, like leather, leather daddy. bracelets. Yeah, and leather I'm still daddy. like my silly self. So I'm like, I am robot homo. <laughs> yeah. Aggression mode initiated. Fisting commenced. <laughs> You'd be wearing dudes like fucking rock 'em sock 'em boppers on your on your hands. You'd be picking up little gay dudes by their asses. And they would be picking up even gayer, even smaller dudes yeah. on yeah. their asses. And it's a be Russian like, nesting doll of fisting. <laughs> yeah, dudes rock. Yeah, no, men, men, women, women men, don't do that kind men. of shit. They don't do fun stuff. They don't like do that. fun stuff like uh, fart in bed and then put the blanket over their partner's head. Like they're not. Have fun you ever like heard that. of lesbian? Uh, it's was it lesbian? Go on. Le lesbian <laughs> bed death, I think is what it's called. It's like the of the couples out there. So number one killer gay, of lesbians. <laughs> no, uh, lesbians have the most dead sex life out of any uh, orientation couple. I've heard that because women ain't fun. Right? <laughs> That's they it. Don't, they don't stack up fisted bitches and stuff. They don't. They don't. You know. They, they don't, don't go to the bathhouse and fuck thirty yeah. at a time like me. And they don't the boys. do cool shit like the boys. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They don't organize and, camping trips by the car to just fuck their friends. Yeah. <laughs> no. And some of us get off on the danger, so we go to like the white supremacy capital of of America, Idaho. Mm. Out into the wilderness, yeah. And, put and up, then, do, and then do gay shit. That's like you're waiting to get shot, you know. You go to Idaho and send up like a bug chasing party invite. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's a way to get killed, probably. Yeah, but Dude, later, if, later though. Yeah. <laughs> if we had brought like a black guy on that hiking trip, I bet you would it would have been fucking weird. There were some places where like you could smell the racism going on. Yeah, in Idaho. you were thought telling that saying that before. I I I. When I'm in scenarios like that, I know I am very much undercover. Like you were mentioning, like the Cabela store. Uh huh. Like I, I know in those scenarios that you know, if if I was with a, a colored friend and someone racist came up and they were like, yeah. "Oh, look at this person," they'd look at me and be like, "Am I right?" Just because I think that's the look I give off at first glance. Unless, yeah, and you don't know I'm say and that you say colored in 2023 too. Yeah. <laughs> as long as it says, well, I wanted to encapsulate it could be any color, any color. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, even Jewish. Uh, I'm a, I'm undercover. See, uh, no, we're we are undercover white people. Yeah, 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 but we're not white to the yeah. white people. Well, I'm well, technically that's... I'm technically a white person. My mom's not Jewish. Yeah, Jewish people only accept. That the means mother, no one. Yeah, that just line. means that yeah. the Jews aren't accepting you. Also, you're not getting accepted anywhere. A, a beast of no nation. <laughs> True. Yeah. But I, whenever I'm like in in Texas or Florida, and I'm 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 like at a thing, and 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 when someone's there and they're like y'all, I'm like oh, they think I'm y'all too. Right. I am part of the y'all. They don't. Know it's funny. It is funny how white is such a such a big thing. It's like you're white. And and of course we are. You look at us, we're white. But you know, go to you know 1960 and tell like the Greeks and the Italians, uh, like the Italians and the Irish, that they're both just white guys. It's like whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah, I'm not what the fuck they are. You know. Yeah, he's lesser white than my white. <laughs> yeah, or colored as Harley would say. <laughs> <laughs> no, the other. I think it was like four uh, weeks ago. I, I I I called a, a woman a f female. <laughs> Yeah, I called you out quick. On <laughs> That's that the thing one. with you like, do the podcast. Is that, is that an you. antiquated term, female? Female no, is like it's an just, adjective. It's so you like, could be like a the female driver, but if you were like these females, just aren't fun. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like using it's it kind of dog. Nap. It's like just a little dog whistly for those fucking manosphere a, misogynistic I didn't notice. channels. I prefer femoid if you're trying to dog whistle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, if, when you say femoid, that's yeah. when uh, they perk up and go. The fembots. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> I, He's one of us. He listens to the Tate Sigma. Yes. You don't watch any of those podcasts where it's like three dudes at a table with like 15 OnlyFans models and the guys are all like, you bitches are dumb, though. And their uh, girl's like, I'm not dumb. And he's like, get out, bitch. And then they walk, they <laughs> yeah. kick her out. Like, you don't watch any of those podcasts? Guaranteed views. I've seen clips of them. I've watched those, a lot of those. Those reek to me of like, remember that guy Louder with Crowder? Yeah. yeah. Yes. It, like all those pictures of him just like on campus. And he's like, come debate me. Yeah. Or like it right. was the same energy of just like snarkiness. Yeah. That I'm, I, I watched that. And YouTube's like, you like this? And I'm like, no, I don't. But, but, then but we put it back clicking. on. Yeah. We keep <laughs> clicking for some reason. Yeah, I watch a lot of like content that isn't. I it's just I watch so much. I consume everything. Like someone was like, "Wow, why do you follow Andrew Tate? I'm unfollowing you." And I was like, "I follow him because I hate him." And I was like, "I was about and to say I, was I like, hate follow." And a I lot was like, people. "You could, you should unfollow. I hate you too now." <laughs> like I got, I got a, I got a bunch I can go. I don't have much hate, but I still got a a bunch i could share for people uh, i thought that the tates actually this is the craziest take because i'm not a fan of the tate brothers Sounds but they've like been be. funny <laughs> they've been funny the last two weeks first of all they, andrew no, tate they coming are out funny. andrew tate coming they are out funny back, for sure <laughs> him coming out and being like uh uh you'd rather have sex with megan fox with a key rather than hulk hogan with a a, a keyhole is just such a from Andrew Tate to just have that trans take is just funny to me. Um, and and Tristan Tate put up like uh, uh, he was like, oh, I fucking never played video games in 15 years. I bought a Nintendo and I'm going to play it. And then like 18 hours later, he was like, I didn't even touch that Nintendo yet. I was so distracted being productive in business. And then the next one was, it was an email that was like, thank you for signing up for Nintendo. Thank you for changing your name on Nintendo. Here is your name, username on Nintendo. Here you have just purchased it. And he, then he tweeted that. He was like, what the fuck? Back in the day, playing a game was you put in a cartridge. And, that was, and I was like, this is so funny that he's just having this whole boomer moment and still trying yeah. to be so alpha, but also trying to like break into the Nintendo realm a little bit. And they're kind of like thinking guys that probably sat there, but like we got to break into the gaming market a little bit. We're you know we're but we got to go on kick. Who knows what the fuck they're thinking? But just him. Doing I, all I that imagine all them funny. sitting there on their their weird ass Pop modern Pop house Pop with their thirty foot ceilings and their <laughs> smoking cigars, going. We should break into the uh, <laughs> Zelda. Zelda's big yeah. right now. They, uh, there's yeah. no yeah. way. Can you even imagine they were the a game controller in there? Yeah, <laughs> in bathrobes. Man. With Andrew sitting gaily, he always sits super gay. I don't know how he does it. I thought those guys were renouncing the red pill. I thought that's over now. I thought red pill is done. What's red pill? Uh, oh, is that like uh, like the you know how people? I'm not as plugged in as I should be. I feel like yeah. I'm surprised you're in Tallahassee. You don't know what the red pill is. Yeah, well, that's a lot of. I feel like when you're like a fish doesn't know he's in water when he's surrounded by water. Oh yeah, like it might just be like that. But I, it's so funny because things are I, I, and thankfully, this is the direction of where things are going. But I felt in the last couple of years, it was kind of like you were either this or that. And if you were this, here's what you thought a checklist. And if you were that, here's what you thought a checklist. But now is like people are just kind of having conversations more and stuff. Someone will be like, I'm red pill. And someone else is like, I'm red pill. And then they realize that, like, they were talking about one thing and it was maybe what they think of sex workers. But then they realize that everything they thought about religion was entirely different from one another. And they're like, wait a second. We <laughs> even though we agreed on that, we entirely disagree on all these other things. And I think someone like the Tate brothers who have a huge audience are spending a lot of time probably sifting through like the the people in their audience. And they're probably just able to identify certain types or things that they say. And they're like, this type of audience is the worst one to have right here you know they swerved into religion now they do the whole they're like more muslim than they are red pill so i'm not surprised that that's like that they're like you know not about that um, they're um uh, it, it is weird that they just kind of uh became muslim no they they everything they do is very preachy it's always like i got like i have the solution and i'm gonna teach you it you you lucky son of a bitch and it's free fifty dollars <laughs> uploading month. it right here it's like i don't know Though they I, charge 50 anybody, bucks a month though for that they, yeah no, i'm i am bombarded by shit that they're telling me to do 
and I guarantee you, I do not pay fifty dollars <laughs> for it. All right, I, every every time I get on Twitter, every time I get on YouTube, it's some new shit. And I, anytime someone's just like, "You need to," I'm like, "Who the who exactly. are you?" Like, you're you're, you're, you're so laughing right. about this the other day on t- like, TikTok. Like the open it up. Someone's just like, "I'm gonna teach you." I'm like, "Who the fuck is this guy?" Like, wh- right. what? Right. Like, this know? guy's nineteen. Yeah, it's like a, that's a, yeah. You're this a guy's living in Bulgaria. Like, I don't or <laughs> Romania. Where the fuck? Like, that's not even on the bucket list of countries Dude, I want to go to. There's so like, many nineteen year old millionaires on TikTok. It's crazy, man. It's and they're like, oh, yeah, you're your fucking life? up your day to day." Number hey, one, might have gotten real lucky. You know, the, the new thing though is is like teaching you is the new not the new sort of way to make money that they're trying to push on you now is the whole AI angle. You know, like oh, we can I teach. Follow a guy. On oh, Twitter. here we go. Yeah. See. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This guy has <laughs> this guy's his name's Chase Curtis. Okay. All right. And this guy he uh, has some sort of AI startup, mm-hmm. and. It's dog shit. I don't know what the fuck it is. It's like, it's for people that are too stupid to be able to describe to AI what they want. Yeah. You know, they don't have uh, a prompt. Like, like, I'll teach you how to prompt and make don't, $10,000 a month. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's I, not I, even I, to like I, make money. It's just like, if you're too dumb to go, like, uh, I want to see Biden eating a cockroach. Like, if you can't even wrap your head around what you want, I guess he, this service. You tell it in like the most layman terms what you want, and it comes up with the perfect prompt for getting that. And I'm like, isn't that what the AI already does? Like, <laughs> how dumb are you that like I'll just say something in the most common speak possible, and it's like, all right, and it does it. Yeah. And then you can just adjust because it's no harder than I've using Google. I've seen people type in the dumbest shit on Google though, so it's like funny that AI prompting is a thing because I've I've seen people type just like sometimes they have to search for something and i'll see what someone does and i, I kind of you're like those are the words you chose yeah i think i'm good at google look i'm good you at it i i value like my my word efficiency and you know you're like an old you are an old person my mom, <laughs> my mom is like i'm that. good She's at like, the google <laughs> she went to a class when she was in like at work when like google first came out or whatever and they they like taught her like these are the key this is how it works because yeah. google released like the most common search terms. Yeah, and, and like prompts. Like if you put something in quotations and something hyphenated, like it it weights the words differently. And in the nineties, one of the most common things that was searched for was uh, pictures of my neighbor naked. Because people didn't understand that, like, couldn't, uh, Google didn't know who your fucking neighbor <laughs> was, dude. That's How's it supposed to hell. suss out who the hot neighbor is? Yeah. And, you know. A lot of and, naked gym neighbors. And so she went, she got like a little class where it was like, you, this is how search terms work, which is what we've grown up with, except for Harley here. Um, well, I, I, Harley I listen, is, I'm an advanced search searcher. I, I I do use quotations. Or you click it, the advanced yeah. button and you go in and turn. No, like I, I, I'll oh, use time. quotations. <laughs> like, no, I'll use the, quotations. Even now, people, people like are big on obviously like typing in Reddit, but I used to type in subreddits and stuff if i wanted specific answers in a search or if i wanted to 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 get it from a, a certain thing like I, i'm good at it and my word economy like my respect for how much i spend like my word capital <laughs> stellar oh do you go stellar. for like less less, less words absolutely yeah. yeah yeah sometimes wow. i see people type something in and uh you're like, like I'll see a the. You're not friends with the like, bro, like, I'm done with the like, person. What are you doing? Yeah. You're like, bro, take that to ask Jeeves with that bullshit yeah, phrasing. They, they'll type in the, and I'm like, bro, this ain't Alta Vista. <laughs> like, let's see how big a boomer you really are. Do you go to TikTok to search for things as like a search engine? Because oh, that, not that a boomer, TikTok is not a fucking zoomer in. idiot. I <laughs> you're somewhere <laughs> between. Yeah, like TikTok, do. it's like so you, so I could have a 19 year old tell me how to do it. But like TikTok has become like the. I think it's made a lot. Like the only thing that's really gained ground on Google for like as a search engine is TikTok, which is so funny to me because I never go to TikTok to search for things, but I can understand that people definitely do. Like, look for great way to find out a lie. <laughs> you think so? I, hey, maybe recipes <laughs> yeah. are good there. I don't yeah. know. There's some go go to go to TikTok and be like, "What's the best sunscreen?" They'll be like, "Fact: Sunscreen gives you cancer." Yeah. You're like, <laughs> okay. Yeah. So probably not the best place to search. Yeah, dude, people in on TikTok or just specifically like shorts and stuff, you don't have enough, enough time to like suss out their personality in short form content. And so, yeah, they always come in with like the most authoritative take. It's just like, yeah, fact. Yeah, exactly yeah. like that. Fact. <laughs> yeah. Sunscreen will make your balls shrink. And it's like, yeah. dude, like, there, and there's no room for and documentation or nothing. It'll say doctor in his name. 
Oh, for yeah. sure. Yeah. They're like the reason why you get sued for that? so many yeah, women are jail. alone. Really? Yeah, you could go to jail for that. In in Canada and the US too? I think in the US you like... can't put doctor if you're not a doctor. Are you sure about that? I don't know, man. I Is literally like stolen valor. You, have you look, have you looked at like... my name? Have you looked at my name in this podcast right That's now? That's fine. That's different. Doctor, uh, <laughs> well, I'm calling the cops. <laughs> you motherfucker. Sam, you you you've uh, were in the military. Absolutely. How was yeah. that? Uh, it was pretty good. I served in all branches and achieved the highest rank in each one. So I'm now General <laughs> Sam. You don't even have to ask me what branch I was in. Just General across the board. I've never there's so many people too that are like because I did Tarkov a lot. Yeah. And your name's General you know, Sam. That, that game naturally attracts like all those ex military people. And so they're all like simplify and shit and they're all into the guns and like breaking them down and I'm like, I have no idea what the fuck any of this is. You know? <laughs> they're like, Are you and, a real general? Yeah, they're like, What's what like they assume I serve. They're like, take that general right. out of your name. Like, dude, I ain't the only thing I'm serving is this guy. All right. <laughs> I, fucking, I have no loyalty to a uh, you know, I have no like, what is that like call to service to my nation or anything like that? You couldn't fucking make me. You know what I was? I was thinking. Of, I thought it was funny just thinking about D Day. I was okay. playing that game Hell Let Loose. <laughs> I and love that have you game, played, dude. Huh. The the Omaha Beach landing is. It's just like the beginning of Saving Private. Is that Ryan. a new, in that game? That it's new, so the Omaha Beach landing. I played. I probably played it like. Uh, I think they have Utah beach, a bunch actually. of days, but I never did. I don't remember doing a beach storming quite like that. But anyways, yes, it sorry, is, continue. It is insanely realistic and it's so hopeless because it is exactly like like it's a kind of a rush game mode where you have to gain ground. Yeah. And so you come in on the landing boats and that door opens and those Germans have the machine guns aimed down there and you just get mowed down in waves. I and I'm thinking like that is how it was like that shit would not fly today. Yeah. And not, Can you not imagine that. When you're sending kids with they have social media, <laughs> it's exactly what you're saying. Like you say, like, uh, you know, storming the beach and stuff. World War Two. Like now I'll play these games and, and I do think that I'm like, we're 19. Yeah. Everyone here is like 20. Yeah. Like I'm a 20 year old. You watch the movies and it's always like the grizzled veteran, you know, but it's like, no, like, like there are they're here, but there's a lot of 22 year olds. And yeah. that is very some a twenty two year old very much looks like a twenty two year old, but in the video games you never see that. Do you guys know any like actual veterans that like I I have a a friend that is a he was in the shit like actual like fighting fighting and he and he's like it's fucked up because um hell at loose really does illustrate that you can do everything right and still die yeah you know like it's just the chaoticness of warfare but he also said um. It's weird, uh, you know, PTSD for a long time and everything, but there is nothing more exciting in life than being in actual open conflict with a rifle. He's like, that's, it doesn't get better than that. He's like, it's, it's like my nightmare, but also it's like you're, you're more dialed in in the moment than you will ever yeah. be. Sadly, I, I, I can believe that. Because in the smallest thing, like playing team sports growing up and the sentiment, like just being at that age, playing football and being like, well, fucking kill them. And your your brothers are like, ah! and you're like smashing heads and how that makes me feel at the time. And even doing like even doing the boxing thing, certain elements of like training or being under certain stresses, a part of you that kind of is triggered uh, and um something like uh i i don't doubt going to war is just like we just you just have it built in it's like we've we've been at war our entire existence i just don't doubt that deep down that's like, just got to be fun yeah you're probably <laughs> gonna be like bit. like you will kill someone and be like let's fucking go yeah <laughs> instead of being like that person i've actually family. uh Sebastian Junger writes about this and he says that like with a lot of the soldiers he's been with and people he's interviewed, what he finds out is that being in the middle of that fight kind of becomes the ultimate flow state because there's no past and there's no future and there's no anything. It's just the ultimate in the moment. You're not worried about anything else other than second to second. And for a lot of people that have a lot of shit in their life, that's actually kind of a relief. Yeah. Yeah. So people, when that ends, when they get past that, when they get through it and it's over, then they feel kind of fucked up. Like, 
like they were happier when they were getting so shot at. I don't chase the there was high nothing of else battle. to worry about. Everything was so distant. Chasing the yeah, high of yeah, battle. They don't have to worry wild. about it. That does, yeah. I kind of yeah. have. I, I know what they mean though, because like last night I, I came down. My office is down in the basement, and um, there was a spider. No, there was. <laughs> I've been here for a year and a half. There's a fucking roach. I have never seen a roach in this house. Roach terrifies me, man. Me too. And this yeah. roach was. I don't know if you guys. You guys probably get like little German cockroaches and stuff up there. This was a big ass palmetto bug, yeah. Florida roach, yeah. big roach. And when these fuckers, if they're close to the ground, you know, they're on their sneak game. I came downstairs. This guy was like stood up. Oh, yeah, he, was, he was. He squared yeah, he up was on in the your prowl. house. He was right, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah and, he's big and, timing you. And I had, I had man, smoking a little bit. So I was like, like paranoid. I was like, once I saw one, I was like, oh, yeah. has, it has to be like guerrilla tactics. <laughs> yeah. There's more around here somewhere. Clever and I girl. I was terrified that if I went for the stomp, that he would fly. Like as I was doing it, and yeah. then he would be all over me, dude. Like I'm dude, losing I, at that that's point. That's what they do. Yeah, and so uh, I sat there frozen with like buck fever, just <laughs> like having a, a like a cowboy standoff with this roach in my basement, where I was just watching it until it got about a foot and a half away from the floorboard, and then I came down with a soaring axe kick. <laughs> squished it but like it in like once i put my foot down dude i started doing like the twist yeah it's a roach bro like yeah because i've done the stop Half and of you hear the flies crunch, away and you go oh i'm confident i heard the crunch he's gone and then you lift up your foot and he fucking scurries away with his leg shattered and everything but um that's about the closest i've been to actual warfare and i think uh <laughs> and i got general in my name so i'm basically a yeah that's at this valid point. that's yeah. valid well, i salute you uh, and Thank you. this is, uh, I think it's a good, a good place to end it. Sam, what do you, where, where should people check you out? What do you, what do you got going on these days that people should check out? Um, I got, uh, my main channel, general Sam. I also have a secondary channel, center old gam. It's, and then I have a uh, forehead fables podcast and I have a slight, it's not new anymore, but a D and D show that I do called die of laughter. That's pretty awesome. badass. All the art, all the music is made by us basically just the podcast That's again great. but indeed do you guys play D? &D? I, I have a couple times and i have that on my i had that on my list of things i wanted to ask you but we didn't get around to it so probably gonna have to have you again uh on in the future i would love to um man. i never go on other people's podcasts no they actually have shit podcasts they're losers and fuck them <laughs> yeah. fuck them uh, this is the best one uh yours is the best one too Oh, thank you. Yeah. What do you tell like the PKA guys when you go on there? Do you tell them? They well, love? they never sent me cum pills or Christmas sweaters and they had me on their Christmas episode and everyone was wearing a Christmas sweater except, except me, for you and they had all just like taken cum pills and were probably shooting out fat, <laughs> hunky, hot, steamy loads. And I was having like a, get, like a curd. cum pill sponsor uh, from Good cum question. pill, cum pill interactive. Yeah. Thought CA. No, that's, that's not real. Either the most <laughs> masculine thing I can think of is just confidently taking cum pills with your homies in a in a podcast, or maybe the gayest thing. Yeah, like the it, pill isn't made how, of cum. It's weird how like fine of a line that is. Yeah, no, it's that's like, cum. Bro, you taking that thing that makes you shoot ropes? Because I am too. <laughs> like, cum pills are fine. Cum it? capsules are not. That's like where you get like a uh, two hundred fifty milligrams of st stranger semen. Um, anyway, so oh, yeah. that's not the same oh, thing. <laughs> That's what I've been taking. No, cum capsules that, are that's different. who's been sponsoring yeah. us. The yeah. cum capsule suppositories. That's this sponsor for this one. <laughs> their Blue Chew or their whatever podcast is, there. is pretty cool too. But yeah, Blue <laughs> yeah. Chew. Uh, Lynch holding it down twenty four seven. Donnie Duckett's guys. Thanks so much. Leave a rating, uh, a review, a comment, uh, and follow your heart. And, uh, Sam, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for having me, man. Okay, bye.